Okay. Here. Okay. Okay. All right. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. Welcome, YouTube. Um, a little bit about this game. I played this for the first time back when Dreamcast was brand new. Um, I played it with my oldest brother, and I absolutely loved it. I've played it a lot since then, but I try and play it every couple years because it's a fucking incredible winter. This is, it's winter time. It's 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 close to Christmas. It's the perfect time to play this game. It takes place in Canada, in the dead of winter. Um. I will say, this is a very, very weird game in all ways, shapes, and forms. I can give examples before we start. The main character is mute, she doesn't say a word. The, <laughs> the combat is in first person and you can't move. You can just move your cursor. That's weird, like I said. Uh, it's actually slightly an RPG uh, because you level up and you collect uh, healing from hunting and stuff. So. Uh, it's it's very very strange, but in my opinion, and this is a minority opinion, not afraid to admit it. Uh, I think this is one of the best horror games ever made. I think, and a lot of people don't agree. But one downside to streaming this game is that it is very cutscene heavy, and by very cutscene heavy, I mean every single thing you do outside of exploration is a cutscene. <laughs> so like. You inspect a shelf, that's a cutscene. You open that shelf, that's a cutscene. That sounds horrible, but I think when you compare it to all the other games that tried this style, I think it fits super well with the atmosphere and the setting of the game. And, and it just works for once. Um, with that being said, there's a lot of really boring cutscenes and I know exactly which ones they are and I'm just gonna skip them and I'll explain what you missed. For example, one of the first cutscenes in the game uh, there are main characters talking to the like main side character and she's she's just the the side character is just going on and on and on and on uh, About like oh, how'd you get here? What happened? And she, the main character doesn't say a word and then she starts listening to this music And yeah, we're just gonna skip stuff like that. Okay, let's see the opening movie Okay, guys, we're off to a bad start. Me getting groceries every fucking day in winter time with no car. <laughs> that's sadly semi accurate. Maybe not the blood, but the grunting and groaning for sure. I think it's this game, you counterfeit, yeah. If it's not this game, I have no clue what the hell this intro is supposed to mean. If it's not this game, it's uh, a game called Enemy Zero. I can't remember which one it is. Yeah, it takes place in Canada. Thank you, Giabisu. Thank you, Kitan. Thank you, Memories, Blackthorn, Gabriel. This is the main side character, and she looks very strange. Well, she looks okay in, in the FMVs, but... A lot of the faces in this game are, uh... special. Except the main character.
Hello? Hey, hey, I warned you guys, this game is weird as hell. But that's what makes it good. Thank you, Shinsuke. That's Starlink's protective shield. Peace got through. December tw Christmas. Over the Canadian. They didn't even have the heart to put it. God, I wish I could fall asleep. Like, I can't even fall asleep at the best of times. Oh. Knocker. <laughs> That's like me to you guys when I Excuse you redeem pet the chicken. You dropped this. Wow, it sure is a pretty compact. Bruh. From your mother, isn't it, Laura? Bruh. By the way, were you having a nightmare or something? You were mumbling and talking in your sleep. Are you all right? <laughs> well, I don't fly too well myself. Look, guys, it's like the start to Lost. Shadow the final destroyer. 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 For the sake of creation, all must be. I wouldn't want to sit next to that guy. Shadow the final destroyer. Shadow the final destroyer. <laughs> oh, here. Oh. Final Destroyer, the Great Shadow is coming. Pray and celebrate the coming of the Final Destroyer, our Lord, the Shadow. <laughs> Shadow, the Final Destroyer. Shadow, the Final Destroyer. <laughs> yeah, Shadow, the intro this Shadow, game. This whole Destroyer. game is insane, right away. I can't emphasize that enough. Be quiet. Be quiet, I said.
prey. The final destroyer has come. The shadow has arisen. The final destroyer. The final destroyer. Shadow, shadow, the final destroyer. Shut that baby up. Thank you, Silent Siren. And there's our intro. Um, yeah, for some of you, you're gonna absolutely fucking love this game. It's gonna be like, it's gonna do what it did to me, and it's gonna be one of your favorite horror games ever, easily. And then for others, you are gonna fucking hate it. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I gotta switch back to disc one. <laughs> the switch to my disc in my Dreamcast, one second. All right, here we go. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> well, let's do this. Turn it up for you guys. Good morning. You finally came to. Ten days have passed since that terrible accident. But I only found you the day before yesterday. You were lying in the snow, and I brought you here. You've been asleep for two days, you know. I, I just can't figure it out. How did you manage to stay alive for eight days? Looks like you were eating regularly, too. you pretty far away from the crash site. Um, do you remember anything? I see. Um, I'm Kimberly. Kimberly Fox. I'll um, talk to you more later. You must be tired. Seems like you were having a lot of nightmares too. They both crashed with their makeup. Hey guys. <gasps> what the? <gasps> Not again. Looks like the nightmare isn't over. I'll take care of this. Thank you. 
I think I have the censored version of this part. <laughs> Maybe. I can't remember. I don't know how to shoot. <laughs> uh, Best character incoming. Parker. Parker Jackson. You two must be survivors of that plane crash. Are we playing yet? Let's get... Hurt? Don't touch me. This hat! Just a minute. What, what do you think you're doing? Get the hell out of here. Wait. I haven't blossomed yet. <laughs> Come on. Didn't it look like flowers were blooming from that monster? You both saw it, and there's more just like it out there. He's not the only one. What exactly was that thing? Who the hell knows? Some of them look like they might have been passengers from the crash. But the monsters got to them, and as you can see, they turn into... Monsters? Yeah. They blossom. They've turned into monsters, too. Get out. Look, I, I, like I said. I'll shoot. I swear I'll shoot. Look, unless we work together, we won't get out of here alive. I will shoot. All right, I'll go. Parker. Now. All right. I get it. But listen up. And listen good. You may be armed. But there's only one way to tell whether someone's human or not. Blood. And that's by the color of their blood. Those things bleed green. But to see any blood, you've got no choice but to shoot. And you've got to do it fast because they'll be on you in a flash. We don't know much of anything yet. Should we shoot everything that looks like this creature? And what if it looks human and bleeds green? There may be monsters that bleed red, for all we know. What are we supposed to do then? We don't know whether everything that looks like a monster always has green blood. Maybe some are still human inside. <laughs> this game has some Maybe deep messages, by the way. Again. We don't have any answers. All I can say is... Survive. 
Get out of this godforsaken place alive. Be careful, both of you. Hey, for the for the time when this came out, it was actually looked and sounded amazing. It, it, it's not that the game volume is low; it's that this game has the most inconsistent audio ever. I'm sorry. I wish if I could. All right, I turned it up, but I guarantee it's gonna blow at your ears eventually. Damn it. Yeah, I'm gonna skip some cutscenes. I'm sorry about that. We're both in the same boat, I guess. I just don't know what to do or how to do it. Maybe that man feels the same way. Everyone who survived feels that way. They had no idea what to do. Maybe you're better off than others, not remembering anything. Do you remember anything, anything about Janny? Hmm? Janny, the little girl I found you with. You were both lying there, in the snow, and you were trying to protect her. This is a Kojima. Oh, this this is a Kojima-style horror game. She it actually it is. When I wasn't looking. That is she a good way to put it. about you, and. She may still be around here, just hiding. Uh, it's like eight hours. Outside. You won't be able to walk too far in the snow. All right. And the area is surrounded by forest. I can't remember how to drop, skip cutscenes. I never knew. Like, I've never skipped a cutscene in this game. But I someone told me in the YouTube comments. They were, I was like, I was talking about how you can't skip cutscenes. And they were like, yeah, you can. How do you, does anyone know how? Wait here. Be careful, okay? Oh, it was over. Also, something I didn't know. Okay, when I first played this game. All right, I have played this game like. Uh. I don't know. I want to say 10 times. Or no, no. Oh, I, I didn't even think about that. I probably played through this game four or five times. Um, and I didn't know that you could do, okay, wait. Okay, you could free look by holding an X. I knew that, but I didn't know until like my fourth playthrough. That you could look at items in the room and loot. So this is basically when you're when you're indoors, this is like a FMV style point and click game where you walk around and you look at stuff to, to point at. And then this is the part you guys will like. Don't worry. I know a lot of you are probably like, what the fuck is this? Like, where's the gameplay? The actual gameplay is similar to like Silent Hill. Or well, the the, the boss the, the the fighting isn't, but the walking around is. Yoink. Uh, double tap B. All right, let's see. Holy shit. Yeah, so you can skip the cutscenes. Okay, cool. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, I skipped what she told me, but uh, s well, I was gonna skip it anyway. But she's just Kimberly, the other character, is just telling me how to use the hunting rifle. 
I did too at first. But you know, I spoke with this Norwegian hunter in a tavern, and he said even rabbits and mice have killer instinct, and that there's no such thing in this world as absolute prey uh, or an absolute predator. I didn't mean to skip that cutscene. I thought I was skipping the door open. That it's an energy, kind of a focused awareness that binds life together. So I guess we better stay on our guard at all times to survive. To feed the flame of instinct with the fuel of life, was the way he put it. The reason why consuming meat gives the body strength is because the urge to kill and the energy of life embodies the flesh. <laughs> or something Write like that. Write that down. Well, I guess what I'm trying to tell you is to eat a lot and get better soon. <laughs> Come on. Aim straight and take a shot. Does the pro tag ever talk? Nope, she's mute. Ah, fuck! You got two meats! CA aim, but we're in Canada. Alright. You got it. Um, shoot that way. Um, there's two more over there. Here, let me name another- Okay, before people start throwing judgments, let me name another game that has way too many fucking cutscenes in the intro. Metal Gear Solid 3. God, by the time you get off your last codec call in that game, you want to kill yourself. That's And that's one of my top 10 favorite games of all time, but man, definitely, next time I play that game, I am not listening to those codec calls. Holy shit. Wow, you're way better than me. I think you've got what it takes to be a great hunter. You can put the game you caught in this portable cooker it automatically cleans and cooks the meat. So you can eat whenever you're hungry. It's pretty good. Oh, I'm just saying a lot of good Much games have slow intros. Bread. That's all I that's the only reason I mentioned that. Go get a little rest now. Okay. Now we get to see the epic gameplay. Um, okay, let me warn you, the combat, well, you know what, you can see for yourself. And we're off. Just picture this is me going to get my groceries. Look up. Holy shit, I almost died. Whew. Four XP. Here, get ready for a banger. Uh, yeah, so... We are, I think we're in White Horse. Uh, Canada, a federation in the northern part of North America continent. While Canada is famous for its natural panoramic beauty, much of its territory lies within, lies within the Arctic belt, and its northern region is Arctic permafrost. The plane on which Laura was flying suddenly went down somewhere in Canada. Canada's land area is 9.98 million kilometers. Its capital is Ottawa. Oh, Canada. 
Lara Parton, Place Stone Hut. Immersion. Is this better than Callisto Protocol? Yes. <laughs> I'm not memeing, by the way. I love this game. Okay. Which it totally goes against everything I, I preach, like, I hate, I hate unnecessary load times. But when it's a whole, like, part of the game, it's a different story. Which, this isn't unnecessary load times per se, but, like I said, every single time you press the action, or 95% of the time, it's a cutscene. But I feel like the character being mute really helps... Um, like this actually be acceptable in the game because you learn about her just based off of her actions and and like facial expression yeah she doesn't talk Guys, it's Grandpa. To you. I hope you have a good birthday, Grandpa. Hmm? Oh, that scared me. I can't wait to see you again this Christmas. I thought I, I missed you. a birthday. I had to check the date. <laughs> Rah! What was that? <sighs> it was just a fat finger, guys. She she meant to Oh, the shotgun shells. She meant to grab the picture, okay? We've all passed the wrong key bind in an online game before. What? Thank God I know how to skip cutscenes now. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Okay, there, there's one, the intro to this game, you have to go to an airplane, or you have to go to the crashed air site, and then you have to go back to Kimberly, and then you have to go back to the crashed air site, but I don't even know if you have to do either of those things, but every time I've played the game, I've always done this, but it takes really long to do, so I'm always like, is there another way? There was an item here in this... In the... No. Don't see it anywhere. Bum. 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 
Where'd the other dude go? Squish! Did we level up? Did we level up? Oh! Oh yeah, there's more enemies in this than... There's more enemies in the first 15 minutes of this game than there is in all of RE7. God, RE7 is just a punching bag when it comes to enemy variety. Yeah, so the first D, um, the first D game, it has nothing to do with this game, by the way. So if you're like, I never played D, I can't watch this. It's, it's a completely different thing. I, I don't even know why the hell this is called D2. There's a D1. Yeah, it's called D. Worst two names for a video game ever. Like, how could they... Ah, uh, it pains me. It's, it's one of the main reasons not a lot of people know about this game. Try Googling it. D2. Like, what were they thinking? Yeah, or Google... Yeah, D. D game. Good luck. There's a little shit. I'm so glad that one thing that could have really ruined this game. So the shoot effects that light up your screen, I'm so glad they're they're pretty tame. Because man, if they were any brighter or a little bit brighter, that'd be hard. It'd be hard to stream. Harry Mason? <gasps> yeah, I wish this was on Steam. It makes me so sad. Oh my god, Night Dive Studios. Please. I ha Oh my god, Night Dive Studios recently asked what game they should remaster. I should have- I should mention this. Yo, Huli! Thank you for the 76, sir. Always a pleasure, Huli. Thank you, thank you. Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm just making sure we can't press action on anything. My action button's a little sticky. I'm using my Xbox One controller for the first time in a long time. Oh, should we do some hunting? Hold it still, for the love of God! They're gone. There is other stuff to hunt. Good, yeah, I'm sorry. I know humans only like eating meat when it's packaged after the slaughterhouse, but watching it in real time is pretty painful, eh? I 
packaged for you to not feel any remorse or feel anything when buying and eating. <laughs> yeah, or, or maybe some of you don't eat bunnies. That's a thing. That could be a thing, too. I like how choosy we are with animal life. And how it, yeah, it differs depending on culture as well. This guy. Oh shit, okay. How do I reload? I think I just have to shoot out all my bullets. Squish. <laughs> Thank you, Shakora, for the 30 months. Thank you. Hold it right there. You can stop right there. Hunting is hard. Okay, let's go back down to the shack. Or back down to this place we started. Is it wide to reload? It is. Nice, thank you. <laughs> the to the windmill, to the windmill, to the to the windmill, to the windmill. Yeah, you have infinite ammo for just this gun. No, Swifty. Bruh? She didn't find Jenny. Where could she be? There's nothing else around here except the stone hut. And I already looked there. There's the crash site, but I don't think you should go there. I already did. There's only... You'll only see things of the brutal aftermath. The snow must have given those poor people a proper burial by now. If you are going to the stone hut, use this key to open the cabinet inside. Oh, okay. I locked it because I didn't want the monsters to get any of the weapons in there. Be careful. I'm tired. I'm going to rest a little bit longer.
Wait. Help me, Mama. I'm I, scared. I don't want to intrude on that. Help me. All right. I also, I really like the sound effects. Oh. Uh, okay. Get out of here. Get out of here. And we're off to the stone hut again. Yeah, she doesn't need the first aid kit. Alright. I got goop all over my screen. Leveled! <laughs> Alien lives matter, that's true. True. All right, we have the key. They just give you more health. I think you do slightly more damage as well. Easy. E bomb. How long is this game? Like eight ish hours. <clears throat> Thank you, Sea Honeyman. Appreciate the big four eight. Thank you. Um, maybe longer. <clears throat> I'm not sure. I can't remember. Taking a nap. Yeah, I'll beat it in one sitting. The main character's name is Laura, and you'll be hearing it a lot. I'll see. Run, bunny, run! Yeah, there aren't many horror games set in the winter time, so it's always a pleasure. Bum bum bum. And Canadian?
There's quite a few set during Christmas. Yeah, what else besides Parasite Eve? Because I can't think of a single one. Do -do 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 -do. Oh yeah, RE8! That's a good one. I sort of forgot about that. Oh, hi. I'm... feel a little bit better. Okay guys, get ready for a big cutscene. Looks like you've been to the stone hut. What's that? Second. Brought the radio back. It won't work, you know. I try to get the news through the radio, but we're too high up for that. A news flash from the world of the living won't do as much good anyway. But you know what? I got an idea. <laughs> I think there's something here that we can both use. Want to hear it? It's called... <laughs> Counting the Roses. I, I actually wrote the lyrics. Believe it or not. I'm a poet. <laughs> Someone who happened to read a poem of mine wrote and recorded this tune. I even got a letter once from someone who heard the song. Poetry to me. It's like... It's like creating my own microcosm. Sanctuary of comfort. It was probably, no, it must have been the end of another sad day when I wrote this poem. I, I saw this place. It was pure white. As far as the eye could see. And I, I was counting roses. Hundreds of roses, so beautiful. You could lose yourself in them, in this shiny white world. I wanted so much to go there. A warm, gentle place. <laughs> Silly, huh? There's one thing I could say for sure about my life. Hmm. I had a second chance. I wouldn't want to be born as myself again. No way. Anything but that. I don't want to go through it again. Not my father's accidental death. Not my mother's suicide. None of it. At first, I tried escaping through drugs. Then, I learned to create my own little world through poetry. It was a place where there was no memory of my parents' death. And I could just this is definitely an important cutscene to like set the tone for the character and the I relationship between the two, but <laughs> it goes on a bit, a bit long. That's why I went to get my coffee. Every one of my hundreds, no, thousands of poems are so sad. Correct. Oh, no. The player ate my tape. Great. We can't listen to the radio, and now we have no tape player. Here. You can have it. <laughs> Consider it a gift. A broken tape player and a pulverized poem of mine. Thank you, Croft, for the 28. How have the epic streams been? Pressing. And I thought a little music would be good for our morale. You know, there's something else I don't understand. It's been 10 days since the accident. 
So why hasn't any help arrived? Can you remember anything? I mean, anything at all from the last eight days? Yeah, the first of the game is pretty cutscene. Well, the whole game is cutscene heavy, but... Someone else. I couldn't make it out, but... You were calling someone's name. These ones definitely aren't the most exciting. Could have happened to Janny. If we could only find her, you know, she might know about this other person. I'm sure of it. Wait. Uh, what? No, no. Don't worry about me. Just rescue the survivors myself. in the other rooms. I just wonder how we're going to get out of here. Shit, I don't know where to go now. Wait, when I was gone, I went to refill my coffee. We didn't get a distress call or anything, did we? Okay, one sec. Yeah, that's the magic stick. Don't worry about me. Okay, just checking. Yeah, Choo Choo Charles was pretty fun. Alright. So let's go look for the girl. Yes? Oh wait. There it is. Can anyone hear me? Please, respond oh. if you can hear me. This is flight attendant Kat. This is Raw Airlines, flight 863. <sighs> this is an emergency. Uh, yeah, I beat this game with my oldest brother when I first played it, and we were really stuck at one part for like hours. But I understand what to do with that part now. There's some sections in this game where you gotta do a lot of back and forth. Like, like, what we're doing right now. We went to the, we went to the plane, we went back, we went to the stut, the hut, the plane, back to the cabin, then we went back to the hut, then back to the cabin, now we're going back to the plane. And then we gotta go back to the hut as well. Uh, so there's a lot of that in this game. And that can confuse, like, it's really easy to get stuck, because you're like, there's no way I go back to that same house I was just at. And the, the game's like, no, yeah, you do. <laughs> I don't even know what a stut is. Is that a swear word? Words only mean something if you can understand them. Wait. I thought I heard like a deer or something. how that works of like uh let's revolve the topic around getting 
like someone insulting you on the internet and it ruining your week or something. It's funny that someone could say an English word to us like, oh, you're a slut. And oh my god, wow, I hate you, you're an awful person, my life is over, wow, maybe that's true, oh god, am I a slut? But then someone could scream the worst profanity, sexist, racist, fucking vile shit at you in another language, and you just sit there like, huh, that sounded pretty cute, eh. Those words were funny. That's why I try not to put too much power into words people say to me, because like... You know. <laughs> I like your funny words. Do I hear a bird? That's oh, another hair. Come here, you. No, oh, I can't zoom in over there. He gone. All right, let's see what this distress call was all about. You guys think they're in trouble? is about Canada from the Prealis Star Cluster on red high heel shoes. The turbulence is the original ETA at St. Charles. Autopilot engaged in the galley right on schedule. Let's bring our seat up to the front. Right this is right. Then I'll just stop right in front of you. Ah! 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 See, I want to see stuff. See, that's why I'm critical of horror games. I want to see shit like that in the RE engine. <laughs> the fight is a little funny, though. I haven't blossomed yet. Oh yeah, you're supposed to shoot the bug. That's the secret to the fight. I think. Hard to fucking aim at anything though. There's a little secret to every boss fight, and this one is hitting the bug. Does a ton of damage. I can fucking hit it, dude! There it is. Get off my gun! Get off my gun. Then maybe I'll just change my gun. Grenade out. Oh. 
<laughs> that was close. I was worried. You threw a stick at it. You were gone for so long, and so, well, that's what happened. She blossomed. Hey, look, there's a butterfly. I wonder if that's a symbol of that stewardess's wish to fly. Hey, I do have some good news. Guess how I got here? I found a snowmobile. Thank God. I bet we can make it out of here as long as we have that. I don't think the monsters can attack us while we're riding a snowmobile. But we yeah, don't you have thought much wrong. gas left. Just enough to get back to the cabin. Yeah, we'll need to find some gasoline somewhere before we can go anywhere else. Let's just go back for now. It's not much, but our luck is finally beginning to turn for the better. Right? Laura? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Surprised? <laughs> you never told me your name. But I've never spoken a word. Opinion. This is yours, isn't it? I found it by the bed. It's engraved to Laura from your mother, Lucy. Does that bring... Anything back? Lucy. That's your mother's name. Does it ring any bells? C can you remember... Can you remember her? What's she like? What does she look like? I'm always so excited for people who haven't watched this to see how fucked up it actually gets. When I found you lying in the snow, you were holding it as if it were so precious. During those two days, you were unconscious. You held this close and kept calling out someone's name. A man's name. Laura? Laura? Laura, are you alright? Oh, that's, that's the beginning of people Laura. saying Laura over and over. That's the most said word in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all hear? Laura. Laura. Are you all right? I'm glad you came too. Here you Laura. Are. You don't want to lose it. It's a precious gift from your mother. Laura. Are you hurt? You don't seem to have any serious injuries. Thank you, the wall. You should be on your feet in no time. Do you remember the plane crash? Our plane went down after being hit by a meteorite. The strange thing is, your compact started to glow just moments before impact. And I had a vision of a burning rock colliding with the jet. Thank you, I hate this setup. Without thinking, I grabbed your arm, and the next thing I knew, we were on this mountain. I managed to carry you down to this small cabin. You remember me, don't you? I'm David. David. David Brenner. David Brenner. Laura. Laura. Yeah. Laura, can you hear me? I was afraid you would sleep for another two days straight. <laughs> I was just getting used to having a friend. Don't leave me alone again, okay? Come on, let's go back to the cabin. Who knows? Maybe we'll find Janny fast asleep in bed. Lip sync. Oh! Great banger alert! Yeah, 
I think the theme would be light. Sick, dog. It's what you brought into my life. I'm so glad I met you, Laura. Well, you ready for some speed? Oh, shit. Hold on tight. That song's actually so fucking good, and it just cuts off, like, the song's on YouTube. It just cuts off right when it gets good. You have to watch this guy's entire game journey. Oh, by, by, the reason I said entire game is because you're gonna see... <laughs> A different version of that cutscene <laughs> very often. Guy takes a real long time to get up that mountain. Hmm? Ah, God. To Laura, the best possible friend gained. Dude. In the worst possible circumstance. Kimberly definitely comes off as I'm like much better in love with Laura. I've gone to look for gas, hoping that you will recall your past. Very, very soon. Kimberly. Yo, Auntie. Isn't that the point? Oh, by the time we're finished here, you guys can try and tell me any point. It's, it's the Kojima of horror games, as we were saying earlier. Yeah, ba bad news, folks. Bad news. It's out of gas. Or and we're off again. It's a little brighter out though. Yeah, that's D1. This game I, I like D1. I think that's a cool game. But uh, I love this game. It's always a pleasure to stream games like this and show people they exist. Even though some might absolutely hate it, which that makes sense. I mean, this is the combat. And there's like a million cutscenes. But I think it's good. And I'm I wear ro I wear rose tinted glasses for this game. It's something I grew up with. And it's unlike Resident Evil and Silent Hill and Tomb Raider and Metal Gear, it didn't catch on. Wait, wait, wait. But nothing really caught on, on Dreamcast. Or not a lot of stuff. I mean, even like CVX is like the... A cult classic. Everything that like originally released on Dreamcast, not a lot of people get to play. Uh, but thankfully my brother owned a Dreamcast. He got one like... I, um... When I was growing up, me and my middle brother, we shared the Super Nintendo. We shared the N64. We shared the GameCube. We shared... Um, I had my own Game Boy, or Game Boy Advanced and Game Boy Color. Um, but my oldest brother, he always got the weird ones. Or, well, he got PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 because he actually had a job and money. And he got a... He had the... Uh, then he was like Sega Genesis, Sega CD, Sega, Sega Saturn. Then he had the Game Gear. He had the... We rented a Atari Jaguar. We had the... Or he had the Dreamcast. And he had the Dreamcast with D2, Blue Stinger, Code Veronica, Power Stone, you know, all those, Shenmue. Um, so that's how I know about all those games. Just my oldest brother played a lot of them. He always liked the really fucking weird shit. And then I was just a young, impressionable kid. So he'd just be like, I'm like 
six years old. Hey, come watch this Dreamcast game. Okay. Yeah, I played Soul Reaver. No, I Blue Stinger sucks. I hate I don't like that game. I already streamed it once. The game is horrific. In my opinion. It's like unpleasant to play. Thank you, Femp, for the eight months. Thank you. Great music though. I think it has one good song. And you guys just experienced the only good thing about that game. All right. Oh, he's already on the run. No. Oh, he's back. Or oh, there's another one. Oh wait, this is a deer. Oh! Or a caribou. Sick! This, this, this menu theme goes in. Wait, wait. Ready? So we got to go to the gold mining industry. Oh, we still have to read about um, Yellowknife. Wait, where is it? Oh, maybe it was added to the Canada part. We're flying over Canada. Uh, then crash somewhere in the Northwest Territories. Northwest Territories got any... Does anyone in chat live in the Northwest Territories, Yukon, or none of it? Five years, really? Dude, it is so... It's... It's... It's rarer to meet someone from anywhere in the North Canada than like Prince Edward Island where I live. Rarer. Rarer. Yeah, I would not want to live there either. Uh, ammo's unlimited for your, uh, <clears throat> Uzi, but that's it. 
Or your SMG. Hi, birds. I don't need any meat right now. Shadow, the final destroy. Look at that. Okay, wait, there's another one. Thank you, Death Stripe. What? Right, he's still alive. Thank you, Mover. I'm pretty sure the levels up just makes you do like slightly more damage and you have more health. Dude, these guys? Uh, I th thought I just shot in the dark. Shadow, the final destroyer. Shadow, the final destroyer. Uh oh, there's a lot of people here. Oh! I can't see. Where is he? <laughs> He's in the tree. Yes, I did, Fish Molly. Uh, I don't think I've ever heard of that. Yeah, I, well, in the going live message, I have to. I have to make sure you guys know it's not Diablo 2. Every time I talk about D2, I'm like, oh, one of my favorite horror games is called D2. And half the chat is, every time is like, oh, Diablo 2. I wouldn't say that's a horror game. Or Destiny 2. Nah, no one really says that to me anymore. But before I streamed, a, like, I've streamed this game a couple times now. Before I streamed it, people were always like, oh, no one knew what this game was. We have the keys to the kingdom. I'm going in. So what's the full name of this game? It's called... D two The letter D and then the number two. Best name ever. Poggers. It's just called, the first one's just called D.
But it has nothing to do with this game, which is even better. So this company, Warp, uh, is the name of the company. They used um, virtual actors and actresses. So Lara from this game is in all of their games, or like four of their games or three. And she's just a virtual actress. So think of like, so in the games, this character we're currently playing as is in those three games. She is like, she's in those games, but they have nothing to do with one another. But it's, but think of it like The Rock plays uh, the, um, the Scorpion King and also The Rock like wrestler and also like the main character from the move, the Rampage movie or whatever, you know, it's the same person, but they're completely different characters. So they used virtual actors and actresses and that's what Laura is. It'd be like putting Jill Valentine's model in Dino Crisis Remake and just calling it like it's Regina now. She's a virtual act actress. Here we go! Break, damn it! We're here! She can still grunt and groan. I went to school or elementary school with someone that was mute or I've, they've never spoken. <sighs> but uh, yeah, if you punch them, they'd probably go, oh! Where's the truck? <gasps> hey, it's it's a uh, genie or whatever her name is, grandfather. Thank you, Backseat Streams, for the raid. Perfect timing. How was your stream? He's got the key card we need to his own house. Hi, G. 
Jenny. It's Grandpa. Do you recognize me? <laughs> we can see each other soon. I look forward to Christmas. I'm sure you've gotten bigger. I'll bet you get to see the grand aurora in the sky when you go. I'll get a cherry pie for your birthday. Since you love cherry pie so much, to eat under the aurora sky. I'll be waiting, sweet child. Sweet, sweet child. You know, Grandpa has a special trick to show you. There's not much to do around here, so you learn to keep yourself amused. Now, this one's a pigeon trick. So, you're going to see white doves fly on the thin air. It's really hard. Just wait till you see it. Take good care of your mother, then. Oh, you're such a good girl. Oh, what? Yeah, get him! You know, Grandpa's got a new magic trick to show you. Oh yeah, he had the magic Not stick in his in his house. Here, so He's a magician. That's his grandpa so. thing. The girl from the plane. Ah! <laughs> Laura. 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 Looks like it's morning. As far as I can tell, it's still snowing. Oh. <sighs> no, I'm all right. Oh. <sighs> Hold his back. It just hurts a little. Like I took a beating. I probably won't be able to walk anytime soon. How are you doing? Huh. Good, good. Your color's coming back. I'm sure you're gonna be just fine. The snow's so beautiful. You know, I actually grew up in these parts. When I lived here, snow was nothing but a dreary pain. But now, now it seems... Oh, this flower? This is a Canadian flower. <laughs> Guys! I'm gonna keep it as a good look. Thank you, Mr. Failmore, you beautiful young man. My mother used to press flowers. Thank you, Fronia. I, I wish I could bring you luck and protect you. The Canadian flower. How can I? Why? Thank you again, Backseat Streams. Hope the stream went well. We're back. Laura? Laura? Oh, Laura, I am so sorry. I never should have left you alone. Are you all right? I remember there was a trailer in front of what looked like a mining facility. That's where I went. Unfortunately, the gas tank was empty. There was nothing left. 
Laura, there was nothing else you could have done. Please, please don't blame yourself. It may have seemed that that thing was Janny's grandfather, but he'd already blossomed. He already blossomed, guys. It's all right. There's no use thinking about it now. We One day, Phil. We should concentrate on finding Janny and getting out of here. Look, it'll be completely dark soon. I'm going out again to look for gasoline. You should rest a little. Bruh? Oh, this. It's um, medicine. Just medicine. Oh, would you like some? It's called Linda. It's very popular these days. It helps me relax and somehow seems to make everything crystal clear. I guess it sort of frees you. <laughs> Bro, your Maybe voice you is... Maybe bring your memory back. It's called Linda? Can't live without this stuff. <laughs> I'm a real mess, aren't I? I was so awful to that guy, Parker. I mean, just saved our lives. If he had been with him, maybe Janny would be. Wait a second. That's his name. David. That's right. That's the name of the guy you called out in your sleep over and over again. Oh, yeah. I, I remember you saying. David, David, thank you so much, David. Uh, does that sound familiar? Do, do you remember a guy named David? Maybe he's the one who helped you. Thank you so much, David. That's gotta be it. He must be lost along with the other passengers from the crash. He must be lost along with those eight days of memory you've lost. Oh yeah, the lip sync is incredible. You were with him after the accident. You got lost, so maybe he's still out there somewhere, waiting for you to come back. Was he your boyfriend? Your husband? David. David, thank you so much, David. That's exactly. Yeah, lady, what you already said, said it. Oh, if only Janny were here, then we'd know something. Hey, don't worry. We'll figure things out. The first thing we need to do is find gas for the snowmobile. If you feel up to it, you can help me look. Oh, there must be some gas around here somewhere. Here, take this. It'll be dark soon. Use this to light your way. <laughs> the like five extra seconds of lip sync. I'll go on ahead. It would be great to meet David again, wouldn't it? What the hell's that voice saying? Well, let's all remember it came out near the same time as Shenmue 2, or Shenmue. <laughs> A game with God tier voice acting. I don't know if it's the voice acting necessarily or the writing. Like, the fact that Kimberly said like, oh, David, David, that's what he kept saying, David, David. And then she said almost the exact same thing again, like a minute later. It's like, huh? Bum, 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 bum. Come here, you. Um, I forget. 
You can't inspect many things. Well, in the outside world. Thank you, Moon Sonata, for the five gifted subs. 6811. Yeah, I was saying that earlier, Fillmore. Classic. Thank you again, Moon Sonata, for the five cadet subs. Thank you. She knows what she must do. In the speedrun, do you just go straight to the mining place and open it up? Like right, right before you fight the boss? Oh yeah. Do, 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 do. I like how all most of the music in this game revolves around that same piano. Do, 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 like I think there's a bonus cutscene you get here for sleeping. Maybe you just try and leave and it happens. I forget. Maybe let's just try and leave. It's it might it'll probably happen. Oh yeah, here it goes. Okay. Uh, I said okay already. Get in there. <gasps> Time to talk, you bastard. What's in here? What the hell are you hiding in here? I don't know nothing. You I bastard! Swear. For Christ's sake, put the shotgun down. I swear I don't know anything. Larry and I are not terrorists. He started it. Talking nonsense about how he was going to resurrect the Shadow. How the hell was I supposed to know what he was talking about? Shadow? Larry's on some bad stuff. He's been hanging out with this weird sorcerer, going on and on about how they're going to build a perfect world. This creep's got us on the same stuff. This Linda crap. And it's like, you're gone. You see weird stuff like a huge seed stuck inside ice that shines. You know what I'm saying? When I saw it, I just knew it was the shadow. No one told me. I just felt it. So I really don't know anything. All my buddies got killed in that crash. And Larry's turned into one of those damn monsters. I don't know if that means he's dead or alive, man. He even tried to eat me, you know that? What am I supposed to do now? Come on. You gotta help me. I don't know anything. Nothing at all. All this happened because of Larry and... Linda! You really don't know anything? Yes. I swear. Hey, you and me, we can get out of here together, huh? You're one tough broad. I like that. I've always had a thing for strong women, too. Hey, say, why don't we pop some Linda? And do a little of this, huh? <laughs> Come on. Satisfaction guaranteed. <laughs> Ain't no way any monster's gonna eat me. But a good looking woman like you, that's different. <laughs> what? what the hell? <laughs> you two? No. No. 
I don't think I can inspect him. Bruh? You all good? Oh my god, if you turn left even a little there, you just go right back in. There. Alright, I gotta use the bathroom really quick, guys. You can jam out to the menu. There you go. One second, I'll be right back. Oh! this coffee too I got some roasted chicken as well. I love this song. Music. Look here. Oh, they've got nothing to do with chickens, guys. Don't worry. Chickpeas.
Thank you, Jinro. Chicken peas. Roasted chickpeas are so dry. They're like sawdust. Yeah, I bought them from the health food section. I was like, uh, whatever. I'll try roasted chickpeas. Mm. Bruh! Yeah, this is a normal day in Canada right here. Hope you guys are enjoying the game, by the way. Oh, you... Oh my god. It's actually so hard to hit them. Like, it, it truly is. <laughs> I love these running around segments. They're just chill. They're chill. No, combat is more like House of the Dead. Thank you, Mac, for the 50 bits. Thank you. Do 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 do. How much is left of the game? Like six hours. We can try the shotgun. Pretty sure it sucks though. How'd he die? Level up.
All right, we're almost back. I know, I wish they'd re-release this game. I'm going to I'm going to tweet at um Night Dive Studios and see if they've ever thought about this one. I'm getting my ass kicked here. <laughs> Bye, bunny. This game is called D Two. I have an extra short game, if anyone ever asks. Ooh. Are you guys ready for a banger of a song? Wait, what was that password again? 6113? My ass beat. 6811. Oh. Time for a banger of a song. A banger. What? Alright, banger alert. Banger alert, guys. Banger alert. I actually love this, uh, this music. This game tried very hard for the stair animations. <laughs> Most games are just like you surf down or like they don't even try. This game is like, uh, we'll try. Do 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 do.
First person. Miner's Massacre. Level up. Yeah, level up. Uh, yeah, level up. I like the drippy drops. Yeah, it's little Birkins. Little G1s. It's like if Ben turned into G1 after he died. I didn't notice this, but in the... In the little tune that plays when you take control of your character, if you listen really, really, really hard, very faintly in the background, I'm only saying really hard because I've played this game so many times I've never noticed this. I think you can hear sleigh bells. Listen, it happens every time you finish a fight and, and, and start walking again. Not this. Yeah, there are slight. I didn't even. I don't know why I never picked up on that. I just didn't think about it. I guess. But yeah, there's. Psh, 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 there's sleigh bells in the whole song, actually. Not just in the background. I just never, never listened for it. <laughs> it's so Christmassy. Perfect. Just like my lights in the background on the tree, guys. You guys can hardly see them. Come here. There we go. Do, 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 do. Mr. Leander Boy Live. <gasps> Hello, sir. Oh, yeah, I totally decorated my whole house. I haven't had my Halloween decorations just sit at this laying on my couch in the living room for like weeks. the beauty of living by yourself. Low priority things that change absolutely nothing don't need to be focused on. Do 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 do. George? George. Dear George. Oh, thank you, George. 
First aid spray. A grenade. Mercus. Mercus? Really? Sorry, Merc. Hey, is there any Mercuses in the chat? Spooky. Very spooky. Bingo. There's the gas we need. <laughs> I've never seen gas. Oh, it looked like a small can that you like use it. Got bad news about grandpa. It's scary. Help me, Laura. Grab onto the stick because this is super realistic. You saved me, Laura. That kid must weigh like ten pounds. Kid. Laura, 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 Laura Parton. Awake, Laura Parton, in the name of the Great Mother. Fuck yeah, dude. I have found your soul at long last, and through it I can speak to you. We going in. Dinosaurs. Jenny's okay, too. <laughs> what happened exactly? I was just sitting here worried because you were gone so long. 
Then all of a sudden, the two of you just fell out of the sky. A bright golden light lit up the entire room, and, and boom! See? Look up there. What are you, anyway? A witch, maybe? A good one, I hope. Maybe you have teleporting abilities or something. <laughs> no. Well, that's one more thing we can't figure out. A at least we have Janny back and the gas you found. So we could take the snowmobile and get out of here. Thank you, Esther, for the raid. And thank you, Pizza. The 18 months. It's called D. I ran across the small two. valley while you were out. And I think we can make it. If we push the snowmobile to the Thank limit. you, Doctor. I have played D. Yeah. <laughs> Scared? Don't worry, I'll drive. Come on, are you ready? It seems like there's more monsters around now. And it's getting colder. Especially in here. Yeah, because you, Laura. <laughs> oh, no. Where were you, young lady? Huh? Laura and I were worried sick about you. I'm sorry, Kim. I knew Grandpa's house was nearby, so I tried to go find him. Got bad news about Grandpa, lady. Where's my Grandpa? I want to go see him. I want to see my Grandpa. Do you know where he is? I promised I'd come see him. And he promised he'd show me the northern lights. And magic tricks. It's my birthday soon. I want to celebrate with Grandpa. Oh, Laura. Don't cry. There's nothing you could have done. You know how things are. Not to blame, but what we are responsible for is making sure this little girl is safe. Right? Thank you, Allie Bear. Thank you for the big four or five. Jenny? Jenny, do you remember the first time I saw you? Uh-huh, I remember. Jenny? You were with Laura, right? Uh-huh. Was there anyone else with you two? Anyone else? A man. No, no one else. There wasn't anyone else ever. After the airplane crashed, I was all alone for a long, long time. And then Laura found me. Ah, uh, uh-huh. Was Laura with a man? Someone named David? Uh-uh. Laura was all by herself, just like me. We were walking. Then Laura suddenly went to sleep. So I went to sleep too. Next thing I know, we're here with you. Oh, so when you woke up, you were here? Uh-huh, and so were you, Kimmy. So... Where are your mom and dad? My dad went away a long time ago. So I went on the airplane with my mom. But she... She fell asleep. Fell asleep. No problem, Panther Man. The airplane crashed in the snow. They didn't offer me nearly as much. Really cold. Or nearly enough. My mommy held my hands like she always does. My mommy's hands are so warm. Oh. But her hands kept getting colder and colder. I told her that her hands were cold, but she said it was because of the snow. And that everything would be okay. Then she kept getting colder and colder. So I tried to warm up her hands like she always did. But it didn't work. She said it would be okay. And we just held hands. And mommy went to sleep. Oh, Jenny. Jenny. I'm sorry, Kimmy. That's why I didn't want to go to bed. I was scared of going to sleep, so I tried to find Grandpa instead. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. It's okay, Jenny. You don't have to be scared anymore. Will I fall asleep and go away too? Not you, Jenny. You're going to be perfectly all right. Because you've got Laura and me. It isn't going to be easy. But remember this, Jenny. Huh? You can never give up hope. Hope? Yes, hope. Hope. It's the most important thing anyone can have in life. To believe. To keep believing. Listen, guys. Never give up. Not ever. To have a bright light burning in your heart. As long as you believe. That light will grow stronger and brighter to light your way. Oh, I understand. Grandpa always says, Jenny, even if bad things happen, have faith in tomorrow. Yeah. That's right, Jenny. You're See so you guys? strong. Uh-huh. Hope. I know about that now. Grandpa taught me a lot of things. Your grandpa's dead. Jenny, you're a very smart girl. You understand, don't you, that you can't see your mother ever again I'm afraid not or grandpa your mother had to go to sleep to be safe so she could protect you forever oh. she was a wonderful person honey I know you have to survive no matter what Jenny for your mother's sake okay Kimmy Laura Kimmy, can I ask you something? What's that? Hmm? Can I call <laughs> you and Laura mommy? Oh, sure you can. <laughs> You're so warm. <sighs> Come on, Laura, Jenny, let's get going on the snowmobile. We have a valley to cross. Yeah, this game is basically half a freaking movie, but there's a lot of really good moments. So I need to apologize to Parker. There's also a lot of moments like this. Run into him. Let's go. My favorite section is the. I think it's the next one. The next two sections are awesome. I think that this whole part that we just did is the most boring part of the game, but I still enjoy it because like. Um, I think this game has a good story, but it's hard to get the. All the metaphors and shit. All right, here we go. Everybody, hold on tight. Banger alert. Shadow, Shadow the Final Destroyer. You can get extremely lost in this game, yeah, and it's not fun. Thank you, Inert, for the 12 months. Thank you. All right. I asked this at the start of the stream, but there's way more people here now. One's in the chat if you this is your first time ever seeing this game. Ah, good, good. Good, good. Hello. Hello. Doesn't 
look like anyone's home. Let's go in. Hey, Dan. I played it. It's really dark in here. Can you find a light switch somewhere? Oh, here it is. Hmm, I guess there's no one here. I wonder if it's all right just to take some things. Thank you, Raven. Laura. Hmm? Could you search this room and see if there's anything useful? I thought I saw another light ahead. A yellow one. Thank you, Dan. I'm gonna go check it out. And Janny, you come with me. Okay. All right. We'll be back as soon as we finish checking it out. You're Def not definitely you, huh? to be alone, are you? <laughs> Games coming out on Dreamcast are basically a death sentence. We'll be right back. Especially if they got if if they got other ports, they they're probably fine. But no other ports, like CVX at least came out on everything, or on a lot of other stuff. Not everything, I guess. I don't know how to get that first aid spray. Um, I'm using D mall. that guy Um, I don't know if I've played that actually. By the way, you can skip all these cutscenes. Like, you can skip, like, like, uh, let's see if she walks down the stairs again. Yeah, like, you can always skip these. I just choose to watch a lot of them. Oh, cool. Okay, Fillmore. I loved Death Beacon. It's sick. I or Dead Beacon. I highly recommend everyone play it. It's only five dollars. Yeah, if you if you've ever played in the past, um, I recommended a game called Nightmare of Decay on Steam. There's one I played a couple days ago, very similar. I'll be putting it on my main YouTube channel actually, because it's just I think it's that good. I'd like to promote it a lot. Um, but uh, it's called Dead Beacon. Really fun. I th hard mode is a little overkill, but be careful if you choose hard mode. Thank you, Crazy Shovel Face. Ooh. 
Okay, hey guys, don't, don't go anywhere. This is one of the best parts. Oh, please don't. What do you mean by that? You say amusing things. <laughs> Help. Hmm. Help, huh? I bet all the people you victimized until now pleaded for their lives in the same way, huh? Stop, please, help! Pitiful. Help! Shh, you're hurting my ears. Shut up, will you? My head hurts. It's pounding. Don't shout. Do I have to beg, huh? Linda. Ah, it's Linda. You want to take some? This stuff's different from the usual stuff they sell. It's more potent and really works. You don't need any, because you're going to die soon anyway. Or are even monsters scared of death? I guess it doesn't really matter, huh? It doesn't matter what happens to you, because you're not human anyway. Are you? You're not human. You're wrong. <laughs> you say such crazy things. What's not true? I saw you with my own two eyes. What wasn't true about how you mutated into that... that thing? How you attacked my father. How you ate him! Ate him! You're wrong. Liar! You're disgusting. Go not on, true. why don't you show yourself? Go ahead and blossom into your sick, disgusting, real self. Right now! Come on! Huh? Uh-oh. <gasps> she missed Who's her being dead. Oh, who do we have here? Do come and join us. Isn't that nice? We have company. Do you blossom into a pretty flower, too? Come on, show me. I want to see. <laughs> oh, let's conduct an experiment, shall we? Yes, an experiment. You know, a test on both of you. Bang! Bang! Well, let's see. Who should I shoot first? It's really simple. See, I take this pistol and bang, I shoot your foot. Bang! And if I see green blood, you lose. Bang! If I shoot you in the head, you won't be able to move. And if there's red blood, I guess I'll just have to untie the rope. Red blood proves you're human, you see? But if you bleed green, you know what happens. Bang! Why doesn't he prick I'm fingers? I'm talking about you! I assume yes, he's crazy. You. Do you I, that might be a stretch, me? but... <laughs> How could you do that? To my father! That's not true. I saw you! I saw you! You took my father and. He needs more Linda. Experiments are fun. I want to see you turn into a monster. <laughs> ah, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Look, look, I'm going to shoot you now. Bang! <laughs> Just 
Just kidding. <laughs> Surprise. Uh oh. Aha! I knew I was right. Now I'll show you. This is for what you did to my father. Huh? Vagina dentata. Huh? Are supposed to be totally different things. Why is this happening to me? Uh. I'm sorry. Did you that was a close one. Whew. No, don't come near. You shouldn't see this. Uh oh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine she walked in and did see it. All right. I don't know what's what anymore. <laughs> Sorry. It's just that I've never killed myself before. Same. Are you all right? I guess I'm over it now. <coughs> I actually like her dialogue in this whole scenario. <coughs> Better do something about that cough, lady. I haven't saved it in like an hour and a half. There was a storage facility just ahead and I saw it there too. My own body. <laughs> Talk about freaky. I mean, whoever really had to walk over their own dead body? I didn't think I'd end up killing myself, but I guess it's better than being killed by the other me. Uh-oh. <laughs> the combat's so funny. I don't know what the um the gimmick is in this boss fight. Why do 
I think I'm under leveled. Shotgun sucks. Boobs. My stomach vagina. I don't think this fight's ever taken me this long. I've never heard this part of the song. <laughs> I fucking love the last like half hour of this or this half hour we just experienced. Thanks, Laura. You saved my life. I guess she's a clone, huh? Looks just like me. Gives me the <laughs> creeps. I guess they have the ability to replicate the exact physical appearance of the victims. Oh. <laughs> Do you think I'm. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm human. Yeah, sure, lady. You can't clone a person's mind. Suppose they grow at an accelerated rate from a DNA sample. A brainless Xerox copy. Well, I guess if they're capable of a real conversation, they're probably not a clone. But they do learn pretty fast. Did you notice how that one could talk a bit? It was mostly mimicking, but in the end, maybe you can only go by the color of blood. It just seems so sinister. Hey, Laura. You do believe me, don't you? I can't say that I blame you. <sighs> I bit the inside of my cheek. It's hard for me to even know what I am anymore. All the crazy things going on around here. Ouch. You end up suspecting yourself of the worst things. <sighs> Gotta snap out of it, though. Come on, Jenny. Let's go check out the next room. Yeah, okay. when this game came out, especially like the airplane boss or the the plane boss, the first boss in the game, it was scary as hell. Like, I just wish. I feel like this game does like, um, the actual horror scenes very, very, very well. Like the transformation, how they deal with it. Um, the sound effects are comical, but I wish more games. Like Took risks like this Fine. did back when it came out. But I think we'll sleep well knowing there's three of us. Like I was talking about how, like you know, it's recently tough. I was like, I want to make a horror to game and shit. Yourself, with no good memories to fall back on. How do no? How do like very few games have that classic like disgusting twitchy person walks towards you, their face just starts melting and falling apart, their eye eyeball falls out of a socket, and the cockroach crawls out like from the first boss fight. Like, that's fucking sick. But to me, 
to me, that kind of like, um, that kind of thing happening in a video game, like a horror game, I would think to myself, like, like that should be a common thing to see, but it's so weird that like, I can't think of any other games that do that kind of like mutation where it's like they're falling apart at the seams as they walk towards you. Like that'd be so cool in modern graphics. Like what I, the something that reminds me of that is like an RE2 remake when you see the first pop, you're walking through the hallway and you pull up his head and it comes apart like this. You see all the flesh and the tendons all together or all, all the connective tissue. Like I want to see more shit like that. But, but common, not like, oh, it happens once in an eight hour game, you know? It's like, like yeah, Dead Space did a great job with that thing. Dead Space, tides perfect tides example. In, thick as tar, cutting you off from everything, leaving you all alone in the universe. It's like that. I'd always take refuge with these drugs. <laughs> to tell you the truth, the medicine is the reason I was on that plane. Linda. The room was so thick with sticky, suffocating darkness that night. I thought I'd drown. Yeah, pot pie. My medicine. I'm pumped that's for that when one. I saw it. it wasn't a trip. It was kind of a vision. A vision of a landscape. And after that, I could see it almost every day. Whenever I took a dose, well, this I knew I was being called there. Japan all, always has censored versions. The the, this game has a censored version. A newspaper. For Japan. The article was about Linda. How it was extracted from a type of lichen only found in the tundra of northern Canada. It mentioned that Linda triggered psychosis and aggression in some people. And that several violent murders in the past few years were committed by perpetrators. <laughs> yeah, BK. Who had taken Linda. And that even many acts of cannibalism had been reported. The story went on about the relationship between human aggression and instinct. But I couldn't take my eyes off the photograph. I was mesmerized by it. It was exactly what I seen in my vision. Well, so here's the thing, guys. Here's the, we've had this conversation many times. That scene that just happened with the boobs woman boobs are on the screen the chat is fucking flipping out person gets beheaded or like person gets like their arms chopped off like a mortal combat fatality eh no fuss at all but boobs oh my god but see in on the other side of the world it's the opposite you see boobs what else is new someone getting beheaded that's what's new the same landscape. By the way, that side is like makes way more sense than being afraid by the female body. And that's why I got on that plane. Of course, you know the rest. Uh, by the way, but I don't care about either. By the way, I bring on the behead, bring on the nude female beheadings. Like I'll take everything that's censored. Like I, I wish, I wish nothing was censored. It's just a fucking game. Laura, do you remember anything yet? Your mother and that compact, and that David guy. He could be out there, still waiting for you. That David guy. Do you remember anything yet? Laura. Remember anything? Laura. Anything? <laughs> the lips. That's too bad. My God. Jesus, finally. Okay, let's see how long it's been since I saved it. <laughs> An hour exactly. <laughs> Hey, Laura.
Flora. Do you think that guy Parker's still alive? It was so unfair to him. I'd really like to apologize to him. I misjudged him. Eve, I don't think I can yet. Yeah, you want to go get some sleep? It'll be dawn in a few hours, and the days are very short around here anyway. I hope tomorrow's a good day. Today wore me out. Oh. Well, I have some major problems with that game. The thing, something I fucking hate about the thing game. Is that the whole game, like the, the coolness of that game is that it revolves around the same idea that the movie revolves around. Where you can't trust anyone and you have to test your teammates making sure that they're not the alien. Oh sorry. I guess I dozed off. Hey, um, y you should take this. You'll need it if you're gonna go up to the other building. Just... Jiggle the lock a bit, and the door will open. There's some sort of storage facility there, but it's too cold to stay for long. Not that there's much there except a lot of junk and a hatch on the floor. The hatch seems to lead down to a cellar, but it was frozen shut. The building's just up the hill. There's a large yellow lamp. But be careful, because it's very dark along the way. Take the snowmobile if you want. Well, good night. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, yeah, because... So, in the thing, you can check on your party the whole time. You pause the game, you can see the faces of your party members, and you have to judge their facial expression and how they're acting to see if they're the thing. And you have this item that you can test them. You can prick their finger and test if they're the thing. But this is why the game fucking blows. Because you can test someone. You can test someone. Let's say they're standing right here. And you test them. Prick, you prick their finger. And they're not the thing. Alright, they're not the alien. They're not the enemy. They're not the monster. They take one step in, a, in this like scripted location. And they change. It's so annoying. It defeats the whole purpose of the game. Like, why, why did, why would you ever do that? Like, jeez, it just defeats the fucking... Ugh, I hate that. But I still enjoy playing the thing. Like, it's a fun game. I've, I've streamed it, like, three times now. Um, but still, like, I wish... I, they should just remake it. Like, I think it'd be a really, really good remake. And I know it's like, oh, not in, there, there's... There's too many remakes! Yeah, well, it doesn't hurt to remake a game that 99% of those people complaining have never played and will never played unless it's re- Uh, one sec. I'm just gonna use the bathroom really quick and I'm gonna put my lunch on the stove. I'll be right back one sec.
Hello, everybody. Oh, I thought the music stopped completely. I am actually making a supper. So I'm going to have to get up a couple times. Yo, Sonogami. Thank you, Frost, for the sub. Thank you, Grappler, for the six months. Thank you, Sidicus, for the 17. I'll turn my alerts back on. I turned them off for that section of the game because, hey, a first aid spray. I had some leftover, like, Cajun beef, ground beef, and I had some leftover cream, so I'm just making a... Cook it some chickpea pasta and some, um, or lentil pasta actually, and then some, uh, just have that cream and the ground beef on the stove just simmering on really low. Bruh? Thumbnail! Smile for the thumbnail, everyone. We we'll just have to put pasties on her. Because America. All right, this is a heavy topic for Twitch. Please don't re please don't respond. I just want to throw it out there, and I don't want to see anyone respond to it. I hope, but. I wonder if I took a pic, if I put this as my thumbnail and then YouTube flagged it and I said that he didn't identify as a woman, if I could get away with using it as my thumbnail. How do I get this? Oh, I can go over there now. I couldn't last time. What? I, I think that's a valid thing. Ow. <sighs> well, I ain't taking shit. I ain't hot taking nothing. Like, that could put them in hot water. Try it? Maybe I will. Maybe I will. The only reason I say that is you're allowed to have male boobs in a in a thumbnail. So I don't see what the big fuss is. Oh, here we go. Christmas tree. Yeah, I'm totally gonna do that, by the way, guys. That was totally me being dead serious and planning my f what I'm gonna do. I'm just fucking saying that it could be done. It's not like a ridiculous statement.
Huh? Two. <gasps> All right then. That that more that statement more centered around the fact that it's really stupid that men can show their boobs and women can't. Imagine how well thumbnails would do. And why I think it's extra stupid and not an arguable fact is that some guys have way bigger boobs than I've ever seen on a woman. Another one! <gasps> Maybe this is more assertive for the thumbnail. Damn, she was wasted. I know how to change the subject. Ready? Who in chat sub to Markiplier's OnlyFans? Did it for the charity. Nice. Hell yeah, dude. It's not available yet, Kay. Hey, I'm still waiting. Waiting and waiting and waiting. Seven. Eight. And six. Eight six two eight eight one. I feel like I should take a picture of this. Uh, thank you for Rumi uh, for the eight months. Thank you. Okay. Hmm? Remember that she's saying. This is a strand type game. 
I gotta check on my lunch, one sec. I got six minutes. Six minutes. I think there's another place to go up ahead. Yeah, she said you don't fight on the on the thing and that was bullshit. It's been so long since he fought I think.
Oh, I'm out of meat. I have to farm. I'll farm later. go. Yeah, isn't this game awesome? Oh, for God's sakes. Better save it. This has been a bit too. Yeah, that's because she is a... What? She is a... Uh... This is such a weird way to explore the pictures. What? It got butchered. The compression. Well, you know what? That actually might be allowed for a YouTube thumbnail. Uh, but yeah, the, the pro tag, Laura Parton, is an actress, a virtual actress. Um, yeah, uh, what is correct? Yeah, VTuber, basically. It'd be like if a VTuber was in multiple different video games with a different name in each game. Try to listen to my alarm. First aid spray. Okay, one sec. I'm 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 in the middle of cooking.
have my cream sauce on the lowest possible heat. It better not... It better not curdle. I really want the food to be done before this section because it's a lot of cutscenes, but they're decent. You get to learn about the story. <laughs> um, yeah, I have wanted to speed on the game in the past. No, I plan on playing Enemy Zero one day. Nice, I played by a mutant. Wait, is that the fighting one for N64? I switch my controller up for most games, uh, but. I guess PS5 for a lot of them? PS4? I use keyboard for most games. Like 90, oh no, like 85% of the time I use keyboard. Listen, do you hear that? Shit, it's already starting. Yes, dear. I'm gonna listen on my phone and finish this deal. So, this is the sound of death. Oh, what I hear now is that faint whisper, the sound of all life coming to an end. Earth is dying. The sound is so bittersweet. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't think I really understand. No, dearest. You understand much more than I do about everything. If you say so. Linda, I'm so happy that the two of us can be together at this moment. <gasps> Who's there? Is someone there? Is that you, David? No, couldn't be. So, we have a visitor on our last night. I don't know what you want, but don't come any closer. Please. I don't want anyone to see me in this debilitating condition. You know what I mean, don't you? A monster has gotten me. Oh, I'm still alive. But I'm beginning to change. I'm transforming into a monster myself. Linda, this may be a suitable end for someone like myself. No matter what happens, you are still you. Linda, I remember everything so clearly about the night we first met. So do I, dear. The stars were so beautiful. As they are tonight. Oh, if I close my eyes, I can see the stars the way they were that night. How did I stray so far from that to become the madman that I am? You are no such thing, my dear. 
Yes, I was mad to have turned you into this. No. I'm very sorry, but please, keep your distance. This is how I want to meet my fate with my beloved wife under the stars. Keeping her distance, guys. Just let her keep her distance. You're coming with me, old man. You probably heard, but many people in the outside world call me a mad scientist. It's true, but only insofar as this planet itself is mad. I was consumed obsessed with a desire to see the moment of death for this cruel, savage world. I was nothing more than another doomsday monger, and didn't even know it. In the ten years since both our sons grew up and left home, I've known nothing else. My obsession cost me every cent of the profits earned from refining an indigenous lichen. Then, finally, my hard work and devotion produced tangible results. It was two years ago, while studying eclipses and old sundials, that I realized the truth about Stonehenge. By mapping the light and shadow patterns of Stonehenge, then computing them against the position of the stars, I came to the conclusion that Stonehenge had been used to predict solar eclipses. And as I made further progress, I finally discovered that Stonehenge was actually created to predict a specific day, the final day of all days. The end of everything. This discovery shook me to the very core. For 30 years, I had waited for the apocalypse. And with that knowledge within my grasp, my mind recoiled in horror. Earth was about to die. Along with everything in it. Was this what my heart truly desired? I christened the day, the Great Eclipse, and tried to pinpoint the exact time of its occurrence. By then I had changed my mind. I wanted to save this world and needed to know when the end would come and how it would occur. Unfortunately, it took more than a year and a half for the computer to calculate the answer. It was only three days ago that I learned that the Great Eclipse would fall on December 25th in the year 2000, on Christmas Day. But who would listen to the ravings of a madman? I sent for my older son, a special agent with the FBI, but apparently, he could not make it in time. Who would have guessed such a thing? A shower of meteorites touching off a pandemic of mutations. People turning into plant-like monstrosities. We are being consumed. The entire planet is being cannibalized. The great unknown has always been with us throughout our time on this planet. Let alone in the far reaches of space. This day was deduced and recorded in stone around the dawn of history. But we of the modern age choose to remain ignorant. For all our great learning, all we can hope to understand is how much we do not know. By limiting our concerns to those of humanity alone, we have lost sight of the stars. We have no memory of our beginnings and will perish unaware in the end. All we could do 
was briefly glimpse into the chasm of time. I have a favor to ask of you, stranger. Would you please commit us and everything here to flames and ashes? Destroy all traces of my work. There is nothing more I can do, absolutely nothing. What good will a warning be to a new civilization that is sure to evolve in tens of millions of years? What little humanity I had left was taken by those creatures. At least allow me the dignity to choose my own end. Please, break the glass by your side and get the flamethrower. You must put an end to all you see here. We'll flame him in a second. Second. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for ha wa waiting. I really, really appreciate it. Look at the beautiful meal you guys, you guys let me make while, while I was, while I was AFK. Now I was watching it on my phone. Please get the flamethrower, put it in my ass. I heard him. I heard him, dude. I heard him. All right, let's get the flamethrower. Wait, I can't move. I take a two lactose pills for this one. It's locked. <laughs> Thank you, monkey. Thank you. Now there's no cheese in it. This is the cream sauce. <sighs> Thank you, Mexi, for the 33 months. The dirty dirty. Thank you. That's how it is. Uh, I'm ready. It was my mother who gave me life, and it is you who gives me the fate that I must face. Thank you, stranger. If ever 
you come across either of our boys, David or John, please tell them for me that we died in peace with ourselves. John works at a nearby pharmaceutical storage facility. He may be able to help. And David should be on his way here as well. Ah, Linda, I can hear the end coming. Can you hear it? I'm so very sorry for everything I put you through, my darling. Linda, you stay with this foolish man till the very end. And all I can do is say I'm sorry. It's all right, dear. I was always happy being by your side. We met at night when the stars were the most beautiful. And since that time, we shared the same starry skies. Uh, Feels so wrong, but it tastes so. Laura, I, I'm all right. I'm not sleeping. I was just thinking about my father. He works in an observatory near here. I was going to see him. He wrote me a letter out of the blue last week. And for the life of me, I cannot figure out why. But I thought, this time, this time I can finally do something for my family, you know? <laughs> my father and I didn't get along. I've only seen him a few times since I left home. And I couldn't protect my mother. Maybe this is justice for being so damned selfish and leaving my kid brother to face it all alone. Why am I? I don't know why I thought of him at a time like this. That's a good five words to describe the story. But I guess I may never see them again. Not like this. Not in it the, makes sense eventually. Not in the condition I'm in. Sort of. Story is honestly very Kojima. That wasn't obvious already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ready? Hey, you guys ready for the recipe? All right. <clears throat> so chickpea, a hundred percent organic chickpea flour was put into this, the pasta noodles. All right. I have some leftover. I think it was Cajun beef, okay? So very spicy beef. Put that in a pan, put some cream on it, put that on low, all right? Boiled the pasta. Waited until, waited until the cream sauce was nappe. That means it's a little thick. Added the pasta water, stirred, let it simmer a little more. Uh, when this was all done, oh, I added some fennel because it was left over in my fridge. So the fennel, like the actual root fennel. I let that simmer a little. I added it into a separate pot with my pasta. The cream sauce all together. Then I added arugula, green onion, chopped parsley, and chopped sage. And, um, yeah, I would have done more, but I'm streaming. So, uh, yeah, I wanted to get back as quick as I could. But it's really good. It's really, really good. Woohoo! Mmm! I should honestly write this down. Whoa! Oh shit, we gotta save it. I definitely will make a cookbook one day. It's just, you know... Finally, guys, I, ha I have a VOD editor who's been 
who's been doing the VOD content. I have my main editor who we're sort of trigger, trying to figure out what to do right now and he's already really busy with another person. But once my life is like set on track and we have a lot of content coming out on a consistent basis, the plushies out, yada yada yada, I have a full-time merchandise person, then I can take the time it requ the time and focus it takes to make a cookbook. I do have a lot of recipes, it's just, you know, you gotta take pictures, you gotta write down the recipe, you gotta write some other shit too. I will release a cookbook one day. By the way, I'm not talking to my ass right now. I was a chef for like six or seven years. I went to school for it and stuff. That would be a good book. I have a lot of really fucking good recipes. Out of the way, here! I should have got meat for that. Ah, biatch! Bump. Shh. I don't have a recipe for paella. Ah! Oh. Wait, how do you reverse? Wait, it doesn't matter. I'm getting this first aid spray. Yeah, it must be one. Maybe it's Y. I haven't tried that yet. Oh, it is. Okay. I hope you guys are all enjoying the game so far, though. I love this game, and um, I'm, it is always a pleasure every couple years to show people it exists, and uh, yeah. All right, I'll hit this guy. Press! Yeah, I'm using Xbox. We'll do hunting in the next area. It's really easy in the next place. I'll keep my eye out for first aid sprays, though. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. I'm tossing a nade for this shit. A nade is insta-win, by the way. Not for bosses, but for fights that you're scared of. That's the old nade. Oh, we have the flamethrower. Flame on! No, I haven't played Enemy Zero yet. I will, though. Is this game better than Silent Hill? That's a bit of a stretch. This game is in my, like, top... It's in my top ten favorite horror games. Not counting multiple entries in the same franchise. Like, obviously... Resident Evil is a big part of that top ten, same with Silent Hill. But like Resident Evil, Silent Hill, Dead Space. Yeah. D2. I have not. Alright, let's flame this bad boy.
Nice, that's good to hear. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. I knew you could, it's a great stream game. Like, so much fucked up shit happens. You may have to watch like an hour's worth of cutscenes in between it, but. There's at least like five or six insane things that happen in this game. There they are, David and the other guy. <gasps> the guy from the plane. Rico, hope you're doing well, sir. Guardian of Earth? One of my most biggest memories from this game is this guy's truck. Me and my brother took a picture of it and named it Bucket of Bolts. cabin but you just fell out of the sky what the hell is going on <laughs> a 
So that's what you've been up to. Well, anyway, I'm glad you're all right. You must have told him. I was kind of worried, to tell you the truth. What happened to your friend, that pretty, rather strong-willed woman you were with? She hasn't, you know, blossomed or anything, has she? Huh? Banger alert. Hi. Laura, I'm so relieved I found you. I knew it was you. I saw a yellow glow out there, and Janny thought it might be you. So we followed it here, and well, here you are. And... Hey, wait a second. I was just helping her for crying out loud. Really? Yeah, really. I had this dream, Laura. You were talking to this lady. Um, she seemed like a really nice lady. Isn't that strange? So Jenny woke me up and we went outside. We saw this yellow light. We also found a large house over there. There's smoke coming from the chimney, so maybe there's someone inside. We'll go on ahead. Hold on, Jenny. Come on. Hey, wait a minute. You lay a finger in her, and you'll have to deal with me. Look, I'm not a... Not a what? Hmm. <clears throat> Laura, is that right? What was that like just now? Don't tell me you made some kind of alien contact. Or was it something more along the lines of the divine? To tell you the truth, though, I was looking out the window during that hijacking fiasco. And How could you admire the view at a time like that? Well, the sky looks so beautiful. He's so oh, mean to him all please. the time. You really thought that looking at the view from the window was more important than a hijacking? Kind of. But the point is, I saw something a few minutes before the explosion. Saw what? A yellow light. The same light that Laura came down in. Only much, much bigger. A huge curtain of light appeared from the other side Thank of you, the ocean, then grew until it enveloped everything. It Bro. was almost as if the light was shielding the planet. Oh, spare me. You think you saw God or some planet-sized guardian angel? Actually, I work for a legitimate organization that studies things not too far removed from that. C-E-T-I, right? How'd you know? Center for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. It's pretty famous as far as bands of deluded UFO crazed loonies go. You're, uh, showing off one of their caps right now, genius. I'm not showing off anything. Besides, I'm an engineer. Speaking of which, I'm pretty handy. Like, I didn't see you pushing that bucket of bolts down the hill. Oh! That's a different story. <laughs> He's so mean to him. My team is currently studying the underlying causes of why the dinosaurs became extinct 65 million years ago. What? Maybe you think a flying saucer caused this too? No, we're talking meteors here. Meteors? Two major fragments from a meteor impacted on this planet. One hit the Yucatan Peninsula, the other struck northern Canada. You know what? I also think that a meteor caused our plane crash. So you're saying that an asteroid took care of the dinosaurs and now they're after us? In a sense, yes. I can't help thinking that these events are the will of the cosmos. A warning, even a punishment directed at the dominant species on this planet. We're doing our best to follow the fate of the dinosaurs and the powers that be are trying to... Kind of new agey, aren't we? Here. Try the chemical equivalent. Drugs? I don't recommend it. I wouldn't take anything you did recommend. Anyway, Ish. I'm more concerned about how we're going to get out of here than in your thesis. Like I said, those medias from 65 million years ago have everything to do with what we're seeing now. Oh, Laura, you're done eating. Sorry, we've been talking nonsense. Talk. Hmm. Oh, by the way, there's some weird guy upstairs, but he won't open the door. Every time I knock, he just shouts that he's practicing, and he, he keeps playing the piano. Oh, oops. <laughs> I guess I should stop gabbing like someone and finish my food. 
Jenny's asleep in the next room. Mm. Poor Parker, man. I don't like how she treats Parker. Me and my brother, when we played this when I was younger, used to press on this door over and over and over to hear the stupid thing this guy says. <laughs> Who's there? Who's there? M m mother? Is it you? <laughs> well, guess not. Go away! I don't know who you are or what you want, but I have to play this song. Please leave me alone. <laughs> practice, 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 practice. Do you understand? Now leave me alone. Or maybe that. <laughs> leave me alone. Stop it. Stop it. Just stop it! Why won't you leave me alone? Don't you understand? Every note has got to be perfect! You can never understand. Just leave me alone. Go away. Go away. Go away! This Get lost! This was me in the room that was me practicing speed running off stream, and my brother was Laura. Stop it! Okay, one sec. Oh, I need to fill up my water. Me alone. Don't you understand? Every note has got to be perfect. You can never understand. Just leave me alone. Go away. Go away. Go away. Get lost. I put my, all my food away. I'm, I'm your guys now to the end of the game. Okay. Why won't you leave me alone? <sighs> Coming down. Thank you again, Rich Glitch, for the five good subs earlier. Thank you again. Thank you, thank you. Look. Isn't there anything else you can tell me? You may be the key to uncovering the relationship between what's happening now and what happened to the dinosaurs. Hey, what'd you do that for? She can't remember anything. Why don't you just leave her alone? Sorry, I didn't know. If you like aliens so much, I can introduce you to some I know. My mother was abducted by aliens. Really? When did it happen? Was it an isolated event or were there recurrences? I was just kidding. Not too bright, are you? I got you bright. Come on, let's leave Captain Cosmos here alone and get some rest. Or Captain Cosmos. I, li I like how... I like how this whole game she's been like, Oh, I can't wait to see Parker again to apologize. He was so nice. And then they see each other again and she's treating him like... I've never seen a human get treated so badly in the past 10 years. That man upstairs, not much fun to talk to, huh? I guess we should be grateful that he's letting us use his house. He must be tired. Try and get some rest. 
Oh, is he climbing his little mountain? This guy's still climbing this mountain. You guys will see, don't worry. You guys will see. I don't want to spoil anything. God of destruction. I like how allow me to reach you and be in your presence. This feels like a Diablo 2 plotline. <laughs> and the game's called D2. Bad dream. <gasps> what was that? What do you think you're doing? You shouldn't take that stuff. Who are you to tell me what I can and can't do? I know I don't have any right, but I just want you to take control of your life. Speech no drugs. Speeches. You've got to understand, it's wrong to give yourself over to these chemicals. You won't be yourself anymore. As if anyone cares. Well, if it makes you feel any better, well, I do. You can't just drift in a narcotic dream and call it life. You're bartering yourself away for a make-believe world, paying with pain, yours and others. Yeah. So what's the difference between that and how those pathetic monsters exist? Fine. There's <sighs> not much chance that I'll make it out of here anyway. And even if I did, I'd just be alone again. In the dark. I'd rather turn into a monster and not have to think or remember or feel anything anymore. Don't say things like that. <laughs> So Don't bother. For all your fancy talk, you're just like any other man. All you need is an excuse to start hitting. Oh. That's not true. I just want to help. I only want to make you feel safe. You're... I... Yikes. Now, f now food for thought, okay? Switch the genders. And he was treating her like absolute shit the whole time and she smacked him. Sorry you had to see me. The chat would be dead. Again. I know he's right, but I just can't seem to act normal around men. I feel like such a such a wreck. Are you going out too? Well, be careful. I'll stay here. True, Maxie. Okay. <laughs> they suplex each other, yeah. <clears throat> Don't say things like that. No, that is such an unexpected part of the game. It's so funny because it just comes out of nowhere. 
I mean, well, I mean, she was bullying him for, like, the entirety of the game. No! But it came out of nowhere because it was like, she was finally being nice to him, sort of, or like she was talking... Well, she was just talking shit about herself, really. Self-deprecating. Can I not get this? I think this game would fly today. I mean, there's a lot worse shit in games. Out of here. Why won't you leave me alone? No, I won't speed around that game probably. We'll see, maybe if it goes like a crazy run. But the only way that game is fun is with glitches, like because you can't skip the cutscenes. But glitches take forever to learn. The reason I don't prioritize speedrunning a lot of games anymore is it's just really hard to do now and maintain the same amount of viewership and satisfaction from all the subs and viewers. Because... What? Where's the snowmobile? I have such a diverse audience now in terms of in like what they enjoy watching that me sticking to one game just doesn't fly as well as it used to. Unless it's like RE or a brand new like really good game. Um, <clears throat> wait, I need to check the map. Oops. No map. Wait, I should go back. Maybe I forgot the map. <laughs> oh yeah, that was really fun. I mean, here, just, f just, just, let's see. How many people are here right now? I have no clue. Guys, if you're here, say here, 2.9 thousand. That's nutty. I'm glad there's so many people here uh, for this game because uh, I love this game. If you're, if you're, if you, you're new, this right here, listen. Do, 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 do. One of my favorite things with this game is they take that little theme, that little piano, the few piano notes, do, 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 and they mix it into like almost every song in the game. I fucking love that. God, I love this game so much. Every time I replay it, I'm worried I'm gonna like dislike it, or like I won't be able to, or people are gonna hate it in chat, but every time I just like it more and more. <laughs> just like it, not dislike it. <clears throat> Thank you, Taco. <laughs> the story. There's not many, like, controversial things that are many things that wouldn't fly that happened. Like, the, the vagina monster, that's a little much, but I mean, I think it'd be fine. And the, um, I mean, Parker hits her, but plenty of women get hit in video games. Get out of here. And I don't want to spoil anything else coming. Look at Street Fighter. Yeah, I mean, yeah. The two new characters they announced look awesome in uh, Street Fighter. I 
Okay. Let's go! Well, I mean, I, I think... I don't know what that's supposed to mean. But... Like, there are some topics, like, uh... Like, uh... A husband beating the fuck out of his wife. Like, I don't need to go down that path of talking about that. I'm not a, an insane fucking idiot. Like, I, you don't even need to speak out loud about some things. Like... Like... Oh... Is he, is he gonna say he disapproves domestic violence? Who fucking doesn't besides abusers, you know? <clears throat> like, obviously, who cares what's in a video game? But, but yeah, that topic could go down to, like, ban GTA, because that's gonna promote people to get in cars and... or steal people's cars and kill random people on the side of the road. Like, that, that could just go down to, like, banning video games in general. Oh, X or Y bad thing happens in game. That's going to translate it to real life. They tried to. Yeah, a bunch of fucking 90-year-old fossils tried to. I can't even read their own emails. Oh god, I gotta do some hunting. <gasps> it's funny that the fate of the internet in some countries lies on the hands of people that can't even put in www.com. <laughs> Or know how to turn on their computer monitor. I think video games like one of the um, a medium that definitely doesn't need to be changed. Sorry, I was gonna say something different, but <laughs> I backpedaled because I just want to play the game. Thank you, Booba Fett, for the 12 months. Thank you, thank you. Ouch! Hi, Bork Hopper, enjoying the oh. gaming. I am, thank Who's you, there? Llama. I see. You're the final visitor prophesized in this book. <laughs> Stay. And listen to what I have to say about Knife's prophecy. Have you ever heard of William Knife? Last year, he prophesied in his book that a holy figure who oversees the balance of all things would soon come and serve the people responsible for all wrongdoings. Do you know what I'm speaking of? I'm talking about that meteorite that hit the northern mountain that gave off a golden hue. <laughs> to protect this turning star from the crimson shadow and awaken from the folds of time an ancient lord of destruction. <laughs> lord of destruction? Will lie with a child of destiny born on both shores of history. <laughs> Terrible, terrible things. A golden flush tinted the sky, 
And on that northern mountain, fearfully known as Death Mountain, fell the meteor. Thus, the prophecy is fulfilled, and you are possibly... No, I ought not ask. It is not sanctioned to involve an outsider in this zealotry. Hence, go safely, my daughter. Bird? So a woman did indeed appear in the light of three remaining candles. Tis very fortuitous. <laughs> Perhaps too much so. If all is according to the book, you would be the child of destiny, born on both shores of history. However, Destiny's child is she who stands before us, born on both shores of history and fated to be here at this moment. Yeah, that's crazy, Wonky. This came out the same year as RE3. That's fucking nuts. Is all according to the prophecies of Knife? Only two candles remain. Now, you must go, my child. Oh, was that a Destiny's Child reference? Is all according okay. I think you can talk to the bird. No, I guess not. Let's go. Any items? Could fi finally start hunting again. So this part, this is one of those risky parts, like I mentioned earlier, where you, if you want, you can go back to the house and see what's going on there, or you can venture forward. But one of the paths, one, one is the wrong choice, and I don't remember which is. So you could waste a lot of time in this section. I don't think it's not triple A locomotion. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to get clapped here. Ding! Yo, battery. Okay, we're off. Oh, there- oh, damn, there was a hair. I need to do some hunting. Is this three? Think so? It's just two. Whatever. Awesome it!
I guess we could switch to the shotgun, but it feels shitty. <laughs> feels like such a bad weapon. But it must be good. Get him! Carnage. Man, I get way too into it when I play this game. Like, the casualty of killing the animals, the drugs, the naked women, the women getting hit by a man. Too many, too many polarizing topics to dive into. But at least in the hunting segments, you're actually hunting for your life. Like you're hunting so you can stay alive. That makes sense. You're not just out there with like a minigun, <laughs> wasting like entire habitats. Shit, I wish, how much am I willing to pay for Remake of Deep? Like, like they release it and then I pay for it on Steam? Or are you giving money to the devs? Guys, for games I desperately want, and even if I was young, okay, when I was like, before I became a streamer, I had $5,000 saved up in the bank account. I'd give half that for an, an insane game that I want to play very, very badly. Or not half that as in like, you know, I would give a lot of saved up money, relatively speaking. Yeah, the guy who created Warp. Feels bad, man. He was, uh... Shit, dude, did I... I think I did go the wrong way. Is there another house down even further? I don't even remember. Well, we can go and check. I should have went to the other place. Oh, I don't know if I- I don't know if I can do it. Oh! Wait, no, 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 you are supposed to go down this way. I remember now. I forgot what was down here. Or I think you are, at least. You'd pay 5k for- Guys, na name your price for the game you want the most in the world. Now let's hear it. <laughs> Yeah, sea lion, that's a little stupid. Like, at least give the player a code or something. No, no, name the game as well. You have to name the game. Think in your head, like, a remake. No, no, no. Think of, like, a remake of something. Like, Parasite Eve remake. There's a good one. Like, some of you guys are willing to give me $5 for just shaking my boobs on camera. But what would you give for something you really want? Thousand dollars for a soul reaver. Five. Oh, an RE, a real RE3 remake? Oh. Yeah. I don't know what I'd give for that. Hundred K for a Metal Gear Solid 3 and Fox engine. Hundred K. Three million for Bloodborne card. I always shake my boobs on stream. Oh yeah, they make a weird- they make the sound it makes when you save your game. Oh you bastard! Uh oh, I'm getting budged up here. The shotgun's a lot better now. Boom!
We already got the Diablo 1 remake, remember? When Blizzard put the Diablo 1 remake into Diablo 3. God, that was horrible. That was such a fucking horrid patch. It was free at least. Animation 2, yeah, I don't... Animation 2 Remastered would be sick. I, I love Animation 2. This is so far away. I, w I don't think these distances to run are like far in general. It's just when you have to do battles on your way there and back, that's what makes it brutal. We're getting to a lot of levels though. Three K for Martian Gothic Bach voice acting the oily rag. Oh, I don't know, Waz. I don't know. I'd be a very happy camper. Nemesis edition. Like an actual proper one where Jill goes to the RPD station, the clock tower, and then exp like entirely new areas, like three new areas of the Raccoon City. Like you have to go to a movie theater and the zoo and like, you know, an actual remake. I'd give a lot for that. Yeah, I'll definitely play FF16. Mm. Ooh, which way to go? Go down here. All right, there's nowhere to go. I mean, with enough marketing, I think, I think, oh, this topic, with enough marketing, I think they could do something crazy with RE3 remake. Like, it was made by M2, um, so let's say Capcom took the reins and put Dev1 on it, like their main dev team. I was like, alright guys, let's just clean this up, add some new stuff, bada bing, bada boom. Do underrated games deserve a remake? Uh, it depends. Like, does this game deserve a remake? No. A remaster on current gen consoles and like PC? Definitely. Like, imagine if it was remastered, you could you could turn off the blast, like the the flash bang effect from shooting your machine gun and your weapons. Yada 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 yada. Like all the quality of life you could add. That'd be so sick. Yeah, maybe g giving you the snowmobile whenever you want it. Or whenever you first unlock it. You get the snowmobile in this area too, it just takes a bit. Shit!
What are these bears? He makes the sound. Okay, listen. You want to hear the sound effect they make? I could play it for you. One sec. Not the bear one, the other one. This is the exact sound effect they make, listen. Right, right here. Right, hit this one. Listen next time I get in a fight with him. He makes the, the save sound effect. <laughs> he actually does. It might be a, a problem with the emulator, but... I mean, he factually does do it. I have that, that those things are not decided until like the freaking week before it comes out. <gasps> no cutscene. That means I wasted my time. Uh oh. Well, at least we're super leveled now. Wait, am I pressing the wrong button? Oh no, I'm not. I think when you actually come down here, you use the snowmobile. Ah, uh, listen. Oh, he's not here. Never mind. Damn. Damn. Levels, I think they make you do, I think they make you do slightly more damage and you have more health. Sound a little too luck. Oh, is it actually a lot more? I have no clue. I'm just assuming you do more damage and have more health. I mean, yeah, I know you get more health. Um, I mean, as a kid, I thought this game was scary. A long ways from home. Oh, I'm out of ammo for finally. I love that it's it's the sleigh bells. It's the perfect Christmas game, guys. Uh, the submachine gun or the SMG does have. I don't know why I corrected myself. It does have a uh, infinite ammo. Look at that bum. All right, listen close to after we beat this enemy. Sleigh bells. Listen, not this. This next one. Because you, she crash landed in a plane here. So you're, she's wearing what she was wearing on the plane.
Bam, bam. My crystal sights are still on. I thought they turned off. Du -du 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 -du. One's in the chat if you're staying home for Christmas. I was looking into flights to going to my mom's house, but they're all like sickeningly long. How far away? On the complete opposite side of the country. Urgh. Die, biatch. Yo, Mike B. The 69. Nice is in the chat. Thank you. What have you been up to lately, sir? Thank you, thank you. The big 6-9. Nice. <laughs> Hunting time. Stop, stop. Bear, but bunny, bunny. Yeah. Oh damn, like rescued out in the wild or or adopted or or both. I've been pretty good just grinding away. There's no moose or caribou out here. It's just hares and and pigeons. Do, 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 do. Ooh, nice. What's the name? No, don't do that. Play bells time. Mm. Buddy, I like it. I like it. Of course, Loco. Of course. Uh, probably a Resident Evil 2 remake. Alright, let's take a pit stop. I think this is the place. Wait, okay, where is this? Maybe we can go in now?
Nah, no sequel. No sequel. Do, 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 do. No, the plot is not related to the original D. But it does have the same main character. I'm throwing a grenade for this shit. In the first game, it stood for Dracula. In this game, I have no clue. Dracula 2. E for David. Destiny? That makes sense. Dinosaur. There's actually a lot of names that are relevant. David. Open your little eyeball. How is this scary? I don't know, I get asked that about literally every single horror game I've ever played in my entire fucking life. From every single Resident Evil ever made, to Dead Space, to every single Silent Hill. How is this scary? Don't know, dude. I don't know. We're back! Oh no, I know where she is. She's at that fucking bridge we just got back from. It's open. <laughs> Wasn't he playing that? Oh, oh, This is the kind of puzzle that 
some people would never be able to do if you don't have like a musical ear. Oops. No. Da -da -da -da. I thought this was it. Uh, uh, uh. I need to listen to that first note again so I know where to start. Oh, wait. Shotgun shells. First aid spray. First try, too. First aid spray for the first try. Thank you, Snake Codes, again for the 14. By the way, you can skip all these cutscenes. See? No! I hope you couldn't check whatever's on that counter. Ooh, I don't know. Or, I mean, I think big and loud things have to be in a horror game to be scary. Hmm? So I have the opposite opinion of people that a lot of other people that are like, oh, Five Nights at Freddy's isn't scary. I was fucking terrified of that game because getting jump scared feels like shit mentally and on your body. And that's the fear. Like, oh, fuck, I don't want another jump scare to get me. Everything else is not scary to me. I fear jump scares. That's it for me personally. But the problem is, it's like, how do you do the jump scare as well? Like, I think the PT jump scare with Lisa and it zooms in on her head and that's, that's a good one. It's, it's jump scares like that, that make that game infamous. 
But that's okay. What's not cheap scary? See, I hate that cheap scare. Okay. How's that cheap? What's actually scary then? Name a scary game that has no cheap scares and don't say Resident Evil or Silent Hill. That, no, Dead Space is all jump scares. Every every time an enemy shows up in that whole franchise, it's a jump scare. Dead Space 2 is the same thing. Dead Space 3 is the same thing. This is just a redundant conversation. I'm just carrying on just for the entertainment value. Being scared is subjective. No game scares me anymore. Like, well, I do get scared sometimes, but like I said, it's different for everybody. Like, like, <sighs> but people would say like RE4 isn't scary. Well, I mean, to an adult, I'd hope not, but when that game fucking came out and I played it as a kid, I thought that game was terrifying. Yeah, Visage, Visage scared me because I was afraid of the first jump scare. And after the first jump scare happened to Visage, it was smooth sailing. It just depends. It, it's hard. It's hard to make a game scary for adults. Like we're having this conversation is being had for people between the ages of 20 and 50 right now. Like in this chat, I mean, and like even at the bottom, at like age 20, you're probably not going to find much, many things scary. But it depends on the person. And why, here's how it depends on the person. Have you played 500 horror games like me? Well, you probably aren't going to be scared for 501, no matter whatever it is. PT2, it doesn't matter. But like, yeah, for, for me personally... It's, it's, uh, if a game doesn't have jump scares, it's, it's not scary. Ever. Um, like, that's why I'm so scared of Nun Massacre, because I'm scared that my ears are gonna fucking pop out of my skull every time the enemy shows up. I'm worried about Kimmy. Laura? I'll be okay by myself. I'll just wait here. Okay. I'm worried about Kimmy. But see, what? some people... I fucking hate this. I wish I could see everyone that's like, This isn't scary. Insert X game. Like someone's in the chat. How is this scary? Oh, this is... Like, oh, this game didn't scare me when I played it. But like, let's say someone said that about RE7. Here is, here is how, if you want to go into a game and get scared by it, here's how you do it. RE7, let's use that example. Don't spoil anything for yourself. You don't even know Jack exists, you don't even know Marguerite exists, you've never seen Mia in your life. No spoilers. So you go into the game, you go, the, when you go into the first house, like the Baker household, you don't know anything about anything. You don't even know there's a mold, you don't know what molded are, you don't know that there's no other RE characters in the entire game. You know nothing. Alright, so first off, don't spoil anything. As soon as you spoil stuff like every enemy in the game, you're already on the road to not being scared because you know what's coming. Point two, RE7 was a VR game. You better have your fucking VR headset on at the at the fucking black of night, like 10 p.m., 11 p.m., even later, 1 1 a.m. Your, your, speak, your headphones, make sure you're wearing headphones, and they're almost max volume. So when that jump scare happens, bah, your, fucking, your, your head flies off, it's so loud. All right, now you do those things, you will get fucking scared. Show me a person, anyone, even myself, that goes into that game, zero spoilers, VR headset on, fucking, there could be a murderer breaking into your house behind you and a fucking slit in your throat, okay? You, everyone will get scared by that. Doesn't fucking matter. You have those headphones cranked, no one is home in your house. Now, here's your average fucking human on the internet. Oh, RE7 wasn't scary. Okay, now I, I'm, I'm dead. All right, I'm dead now. Pretend I'm dead. I'm talking to God. Hey, God, can I go see when BKDDY was playing RE7? Can you take me back and give me like a bird's eye view? Headphones off. His roommate's having a party. He's eating pizza. Oops, he spilled his smoothie all over his keyboard. He's just going for walking for. Oh, oh, like he's listening to the new Nicki Minaj album. 
Like his parents are calling him, he's on the phone too. Oh, it didn't scare me. Uh, sorry to throw you under the bus, BKD. I just said the first username I seen. But you know, <laughs> like, like that is people. Like they're like, oh, was it scary? And that's how they played? Of course it wasn't fucking scary, dude. Oh my God. Anyway, scares are subjective for those two insane different reasons. Does that make sense to everyone now? Ah. But yeah, it's it's a lot easier to not get scared streaming on on that on that topic like me streaming, that's already one of those points I was making. That's already like my roommates having a party, you know? It's it's already one of those tick- It's one of those checkboxes are ticked off for not being scared anymore. Like as soon as you include any of those elements. Food, a party in your background, listening to music over the in-game music. That- That's when you throw it off. And yeah, some things will scare people no matter what, like water. If you have a fear of water, boom. You have a fear of fucking... You have a fear of zombies, boom. You have a fear of... S yeah, spiders, boom. Like you're... As soon as you see it, you're scared because that's just you. I have a fear of heights. So it depends how high you are. But and it's... By the way, it's not like... Let me explain this. It's not like I'm scared of heights. Like, oh my god, I'm so scared. It's that I look off a height... And then my body, my body, not my brain, my body's just like, like it just shuts off. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not, it's not like, it's not something I can control. And that's like some people with spiders, you can't control it. You see it and your body is just like, you're, hey, fuck you. It feels like there's like a fucking boxer using your heart as a punching bag. And you don't know why. You're like, I'm. why am I scared of this? I don't want to be scared of this. How do I not be scared? But you can't not be scared. I mean, mental training, meditation stuff, you can train your body and and soul to, to do anything. But you know what I mean. That's cool, hipster. Oops. I wish they put spiders in the remake. I find it funny that there are some people on the internet that are like, the reason they didn't put spiders in Resident Evil is because they scare people. The reason they don't put this thing in the biggest horror franchise of all time is because it makes it scary. Like, I get that it's a phobia for some people, but so is everything. We're literally gonna reach a point on Earth for, like, this kind of phobias. Like, you know, I just... I Do I even need to say what road this goes down? Where... everything is... offensive. Or everything can't be that way because it's hurting someone. We are going to reach a point where the world is going to be very close to that. I mean, it, uh, yeah, I mean, it is getting there. All right, sir, blow out another one of those candles. Do me a favor. Welcome back. I thought you might be dead. If you truly are the child of destiny, there is something I must tell you. Wait, wait, elaborate, because I, I like this discussion. I won't argue with people, but I would like, it would be fun to talk about. It. You say, that's BS, Bach. Well, if time has taught us anything, that's the opposite. As, as time has moved forward, what I just said has come into play harder and harder and harder as the years go by. So where's your evidence that it's BS? No man is truly evil or truly good. There is only the power of evil and the power of good, and all depends on how that power is applied. What he said. 
I know not whether you are the destined one, but I have told you what I needed to. Perhaps the human race has gone too far. Topical. It seems that my task in life is done. I shall wait here for the last candle to burn out. It is certainly as foretold. Rare, rare, rare. But no, I, but realistically speaking, I don't think we'll ever like actually reach a point where, you know, there'll always be both sides or there'll always be those people that are like, oh, you're afraid of spiders? Ah, shoves a fucking spider in your mouth. You know, they don't care. And then there's that side that's like, how dare you even have a spider on this continent? Where you know Jimmy lives. Jimmy lives here in, in the midst of this billions of people and you brought a spider into this whole continent? How dare you? So there's like, I get that there's people on opposite sides of one another. If you are indeed the child of destiny, my <sighs> old heart is filled with joy. After all, I have lived so long just for this very moment. Yeah, Lauren. Like, I, I, I'm never mad when people are like... The only thing that makes me sad is when I say something very tame. This never happened. No one ever... I, if you guys get offended by anything I say, please speak up. Because <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't want to ever offend anyone. I know I probably do. That makes sense, Koya, but can since you say a lot of things were offensive in the past and not anymore, can you name two? That should be easy if there's a lot. Because I can't think of one. That's not that was offensive in the past but isn't now. Yeah, by the way, I I'm being genuine. Can anyone actually you know what? We'll test that to anyone, not just not just Koya. Can anyone name anything that used to be offensive and isn't now? Blackface is still offensive. Hating what? No, no, no. Used to be women's legs. There we go. That's an actual one. Okay. Okay. Besides, besides. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait. Besides. Besides women getting closer to having the same rights as a man. Besides that. <laughs> oh, okay, true. Yeah, I, that's true. Yeah. All right. Yeah, but I mean, that's not my problem. I could trust the internet. You can't talk about literally anything without someone... They're risking saying something really fucking stupid. I like talking about more than just boring shit. You guys are right, there is a couple things that are very, very, very specific. Do I have the map yet? I do. Stone bridge. Well, we can go unlock that house. I guess let's go there. I mean, and on top of that, if anyone says crazy shit in chat, I can just ban them, so. Here. 
I'm all for sharing your own opinion, but when you say something ridiculously fucking stupid... Getting sh shited on here. When you level, you get a free heal, so I'm trying to not heal too much because I think I'm about to level. Oh, there we go. Ah, uh, nah, that's that's 100% false. D inviting this kind of discussion does not guarantee that. I've been down this road <laughs> many times on Twitch, and people have been pretty tame. Just it literally just it's the oh my god, it's the internet. It depends who's here. It depends what 2,900. There could be 2,900 or however many people are here. There could be 2,900 fucking Christian saints in the goddamn chat. That was a bad follow-up to the Christian saints thing. Um, but uh, yeah. Like, it's the, it, oh. It pains me that people don't know that it literally takes one person. You could be talking about ponies, all right? It takes one, it could, there could be a chat of 10. And there could be some fucking racist, sexist, fucking bigot piece of goddamn shit in that 10 viewer count. Or you could have 10,000 and everyone there is actually a legitimate, decent person. Oh, welcome to the internet, by the way. Oh. It's like here here I'll give you a great example of Twitch. Chat is okay, wait, after this fight. This happens multiple times a week. It's a fantastic example. Of something. Ten thousand people in a row say something akin to "I love this streamer, the entire chat, and everyone on Earth," and then a single person types a comment. So the the chat's got so fast, like a machine gun. All the comments are "Love you, stream. Love you, stream." And then one guy goes, "I fucking hate horses." <laughs> and all of a sudden, then a bunch of people in your chat start going, "Man, this chat's toxic. Oh my god." If you, if chat's flying by and you see one fucking brain dead person throwing out their horrible, horrible, horrible take that you can look at and as a human just be like, wow, that guy's a fucking idiot. Move past, like, they probably are going to type that thing and leave. Like, just let it happen or get banned, whatever. It depends how bad it is. And then that's all there is to it. But the problem is, the problem is, is when people are like, chat's, when you, when you acknowledge it, like, Oh my god. Someone could say something toxic, and here's how you deal with it. Don't even respond. Don't at them. Don't say this is toxic. Just fucking go on with your day and keep talking about how you love everyone in chat, you love the stream, yada yada yada. But the, the problem lies in when you give it attention. And it's just like that, like earlier, like, oh, you're inviting this kind of thing. No, you are inviting that kind of thing by saying you're inviting that kind of thing, and then that person that's gonna say that kind of thing is like, there's my opportunity, I'm gonna say it. Ugh, god. I'm not mad, I'm just passionate about the topic because I actually understand how the internet works and a lot of people don't. Don't get it. But unfortunately, unfortunately, I have to live on this <laughs> freaking <laughs> like YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram. So I am pretty well knowledge in how things happen. Die, bastard. Like someone coming to a coming to a chat and being like, "Why is chat dead tonight? Chat's so dead." How about instead of saying that, you fucking dipshit, say, "Hey, what'd you guys think about uh, the Game Awards?" You know, start the topic. <laughs> Don't just like fucking start shooting the dead horse on the ground. Ooh. 
Who's having a fun time tonight? Thank you, Artemis, for the five months. Thank you, Vector. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I don't hate horses. Tom. Tom, is that you? Oh, it's not. Please, come in. And see that, that, want some soup? Here, have some soup. That bit. You've been to the house. Uh-oh. You must have seen my son upstairs. Uh-oh. He didn't uh, do anything bad to you, did he? <clears throat> Good. You see... I've... You have nothing to say sorry about Ko, yeah. I, that, that conversation just went off the rails. It has nothing to do with, like, you're all, you're all good. <laughs> it's okay. Um, yeah. my own ambitions on him when he was just a little boy and wanted to play with his friends. I made him practice the piano every day, every day. Locked him in the cellar and forced him to play from morning till night. And finally, I brought him here to the middle of nowhere, so he would have nothing but his piano. But as if that weren't enough, I gave him a drug called Linda. I wanted to give his fingers, his hearing, an extra touch of power. But it was the devil's medicine that I gave him. It put him on edge and brought out the worst in him. I saw it myself one day. I saw him in the barn playing. He was cutting rabbits and birds to pieces and laughing. He saw me, then approached me. Mom, he said, and he was holding a burning log in his hand. Mom, I can play the piano really well, he said. I can play really well, Mom. Are you happy now? Then I couldn't believe it. He shoved that burning log right into my face and burned me. And this is what happened. <gasps> oh, the agony. Only then did I realize for the first time what he had been through. What I had done to him. His pain. Oh God, what am I going to do now? I don't know what to do. Want some soup? I could say a lot more about this topic, but now that we're actually doing stuff in the game. Yeah. I will touch on this because it probably won't even spark a thing. I know exactly what you mean, 10,000 cakes. And that kind of one great thing about the internet is it's easier, it's a lot easier to understand. Um, what will hurt people's feelings and stuff. Um, and at the same time, I used to say horrible shit. When I was like in, in, uh, junior high, high school, college, I'd say awful stuff to people. I've never said like racist stuff, but everything else under the book, which I've mentioned this many times, but here's what you learn. Uh, you, someone talking in a horrible way, like that offends everyone on earth. It's all depends on how you grew up. Like you have to think about uh, the life a human goes through. Like if you, if your household is rough and then you go to a school and all your friends are horrible people and you go to the next grade and all your friends are horrible people, but no one la but like, but all these people, like, let's say you say like, uh, oh man, I hate lactose free people. I'm just trying to say something that's not offensive. I'm lactose free. So I'm going to fucking go. Uh, but, and everyone laughs and everyone laughs every time. I hate lactose free people. And then you look around and everyone's laughing. And then, then, okay. You never see anyone not laughing, all right? Because that's the culture you grew up in. And then the next grade, everyone's laughing. And then, then, then you say it on the internet. You go on Twitter. I hate lacto. And all of a sudden, every single fucking person is pissed, and you're canceled. It's over. Everyone hates you. You're light. You walk through the streets now. You yeah, fuck you, you piece of shit. But you didn't know. According to your whole life, you grew up thinking 
that this was okay. You've never had someone be like, that's not funny. Everyone's been laughing the whole time. People don't ever think about that when they're like trying to bring someone down about saying something awful. A lot of times people don't know, especially young people. They'll say something that everyone's laughed at their whole life and then finally get that one person that's like, what the fuck did you say to me? But they never heard that before, ever. But in my case, like I said, I've said bad things. But as I got older, like I'm talking about when I was in like grade one, two and three and then four, five and six, I was an asshole. And then as the grades got higher, seven, eight, I got better and better and better. And by grade 12, I was actually a decent person by college. By leaving college, I could actually see like these. I got to not hang out with these people anymore because they're turning me into a fucking someone I don't want to be. I'm making this sound way dr more dramatic than it is, by the way. Um, but you learn, you start to see like, wow, these things affect other people. But yeah, we live in an age where like, uh, especially when you see young content creators say something bad, like say anything bad, like, oh, oh, oh you're lactose free, ha ha. Like then, you know, they've never heard anything but laughter. That makes sense? But I got to learn very quickly. I went to a very, first of all, my, my neighbor was, um, my neighbor had a white father, black mother. Their entire family was like super mixed. And I always went to their family re reunions and stuff. I was the whitest dude there by a landslide. And in my college, most of my friends were like Bahamian and they were from all over the world. A lot of Jamaicans, a lot of Bahamians, a lot of people from, uh, from Cuba they are all in my school so I got to talk to a lot of people from all over the world and that makes it a lot easier like I said it depends on that people you hang out with the culture that you've experienced and when I hit college it was like all these people from all over the world um, and you got to hear all these different things and, and what people like and dislike it's not all the same as like what your original grade one class likes and dislikes or your main town like whatever town if you're from Toronto or from uh, New York or whatever you know, you get to experience something beyond that. So I get the, but I'm just trying to say, I get the grand scope of that whole kinds of, uh, the whole kind of conversation. Um, and hopefully that sheds light on it for other people. When you see someone say something offensive, maybe they don't know what they're saying. Like, like, what did I, I said something, uh, I said something that I didn't even think about a few weeks ago. I said something was mongoloid and I was like, wait, is that offensive? And chat was like, I think so. And I was like, but I know a Mongolian streamer and I've heard him say it, I think. But you know what? It's not my place. So I, so now I know I'm like, okay, don't say that word anymore. <laughs> Cause I didn't know. I was just like, whatever. All right, let's get some soup. All right. I'm done with this topic though. I interest you in some more soup. That's me every morning when I say I'm going to stream. Bakba soup. Good, isn't it? That's how I talk about my stream. Do you guys want to watch my stream again? Could I interest you in some more soup? <laughs> this is you guys every day. You're the girl in the red, Laura, and I'm the, the mom. Every single day. Mm -mm. <laughs> Good, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Are we done here? Good, isn't it? All right, I'm out of here. I need to refill my water. I need to save it. Holy shit. Good, isn't it? Man, this game's so fucking awesome. You know what's funny about us talking about this stuff in the game? The game deals with a lot of, uh... You'll see. I can't spoil it, actually. Oh, you know, it gets censored a lot in the... Here, I can give an actually great example, and then, and then I'm done with this topic. I, one great example of people not knowing something. J-A-P. 
stands for Japanese, you know, oh, I play the JAP version of this video game. That is a very, very bad word. JAP, okay? But people say it in chat all the fucking time. Then Automod gets them. And then when they don't get accepted through Automod, they're like, why did I get Automod? What the fuck? Well, either say Japanese, Japan, or JP. <laughs> don't say, like, but it's just a good example of people, a, a lot of people type that in chat. And it's not just, it's, just, it's not just mine. It's like, I see it every time I speedrun a Japanese game. Every time. You guys can't see it, only the mods can. Um, and it gets blocked. It says, yeah, okay, don't fucking do it, guys. <laughs> not that anyone else can see besides me and the mods, but still. Well, I guess let's go back. I don't know where should we should go. I don't want to run to that stone bridge again. That's far away as hell. Maybe we'll save it here and I'll load the save if, if we're not supposed to go back. Actually, does anyone know? Do we go to the bridge first or do we go to the house? Yeah, she blinks in the menu. By the way, I'm not saying if you've said that in the past and got timed out for it or whatever, I'm not like crucifying you right now. Like, you know, I'm just saying like, yeah, you probably didn't know. And now you know. I guess no one knows uh, where to go. All right, figure it out. This has been awesome. I've been having a lot of fun at this place. I hope no one, I definitely lost some followers for these conversations, but I hope everyone's been having a fun time. All right. Ah, <laughs> uh, now nah, I'm sort I'm sort of memeing. Now, when you talk about these kinds of things, there's a lot of people that English isn't their first language, and they watch, or people that can't sense sarcasm, yada yada, or just language barrier in general, whether it's vocabulary, emotional, or or beyond. Um, that think I'm saying something that I'm not. That always scares me. Thank you, Mace Windu lives for <laughs> the 11 months. Thank you. Down, 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 down. Do I have any shotgun shells? No, I don't. Mace Windu lives, I wish. Squish. Damn. Is that guy still alive? Thank you, Slim Savage. See, uh, that's something I'm really bad at picking up on that kind of thing. Like I, I feel like I say stuff that would just make people livid. But every time I mention it, you guys are like, you're the nicest streamer ever, and I'm like, am I? I don't feel that way. Let's try and make sure I articulate myself the way I mean to, which I think a lot of streamers don't do that. I'll just say something crazy and then not go on the 20 minute rant trying to explain what they mean. I'll just hope everyone knows. I just killed a rabbit. <clears throat> he knows. Uh. Oh no, which way am I actually headed? Dude. Oh wait, I'm headed the right way. Or the thing I... I think I'm headed the right way. 
Oh, well, thank you guys. That means a lot. I'm glad that everyone mostly understands what I'm saying usually. Because, uh, I always fear that. Sometimes I lose sleep. I'm like thinking to myself like, man, that conversation. I hope Billy Bob knew I didn't fucking hate him or whatever. Or there's no one named Billy. Well, there is definitely someone named Billy Bob, but. long stream <laughs> yeah Mikey agreed yo punchy hey punchy after I visit the woman's house do I go back to the mansion or do I go to the bridge Punchy runs this game. That's I thought I'd ask. Oh, okay. No, it's it's all good. If you if you don't know off the top of your head, <laughs> yeah, I guess yeah, you probably haven't ran the game a ton, ton. No, I'll just go check the house. Down, down, down. I'm already almost here. I forget if you go to the bridge ever without the without the snowmobile. I was already there once, so I really don't want to go back and then be like, oops. I think you just go back to the house here. Pretty sure. Is D1 very different from D2? They're entirely different games. They have nothing to do with one another, actually. Well, we're here. Thank God we made the right choice. Oh, Laura. Danny's disappeared again. When I wasn't looking. Where could she have gone? I'll go look for her. Man upstairs is gone too. I, I don't know what's going on here. Unless uh -oh. a pretty butterfly. What's it doing in a place like this? I have to go. By the way, for those who have missed a lot of the stream, the big conversations are just a byproduct of playing this game. This game deals with a lot of intense themes, especially if you understand the metaphors and all the uh, uh, underlying things it's trying to tell you. But don't worry, it'll shove it down your throat at the end of the game. I'm always very excited for the end of this game because it is the funniest, or I guess it's not funny, but the credits make you go, what? <laughs> Yeah, this this game has a Kojima ending. Wait, I'm going back up. I'm so glad a lot of you are joining me for the first time or you're rewatching the game. Cuz yeah, man, this game, I love it so much. How much is left? Probably like f 4 hours. I don't know. We're maybe. We'll see, we'll see. I can't remember exactly. It might be over in a couple hours. I don't remember. 
There are certain segments I know exist, and I just don't remember how long they are. What's wrong? Oh my God. What the hell happened here? We better not hang around. Come on. Let's go back downstairs. You all right? I wonder where Janny went. I ran into Kimberly on the way back and she told me she took the snowmobile. You know, I think I have a better idea of what she's like after talking to her. Oh yeah, I found a stone bridge just north of here. The thing is, the gate is locked and will stay that way unless we can blow it with dynamite or something. It's really too bad. There's a large building in a mountain on the other side of the bridge. There's a weird red glow coming from the summit. I think there's something like an antenna up there. You can bet on it. It could be the source of the signal my team was tracking. Parker is my favorite character. That guy. I wish I could do something for Kimberly, you know? But she avoids me like the plague. I wish I could do something. I wish I could do something. David eventually, I think. I've got a gun, yep. Is the snowmobile here yet? No. <laughs> I thought it was here really early, but I guess it's not. Thank you, Man Bear, for the 42 months. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. We have three meat. You shaky ass hands. Oh, god damn it. <sighs> hey Punchy, is there actually any crazy tricks in the speedrun or is it more like Dino Crisis? Where you just go through the, the movements. Probably more like Resident Evil, I guess. Not Dino Crisis. Dino Crisis don't really do much. Oh shit, three. Bombs away! Oh yeah, we have the semi-auto now. Yeah, I figured as much. Oh, really? Oh, wait, it doesn't let you skip that. I was asking that earlier. Oh, wow, I see. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I was thinking that was like one of the only like, uh, obvious skips. No!
Uh, I don't know, Archaic. Oh, the pistol. I like how we got two guns back to back. I have played the drag. I have played D, the original, yeah. What is the best gun in this game? I have no clue. Oh, I see. You can tell a fight's gonna start in the emulator version just because... ...the music cuts out a little or something. Like, there's some obvious trigger. Like, the screen goes a little wider for a split second or something. What gun do you use in the speed run? Makes me so happy to know there's other people that love this game. <laughs> As I've said before, I'll say it again. This is in my top favorite, top 10 favorite horror games. <clears throat> or not, like, don't include Resident Evil as separate games or Silent Hill as separate games, obviously. It's too many good ones. What's not right? Insert a Resident Evil game is number one. <laughs> remake two, two remake three, four, one. Pick, pick one. <laughs> Reverse. Oh, I see. Deep Fear was fun. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to think of some of my favorite horror games. I'd have to look through my Steam list and stuff. Yeah, the, it's it's the... The weather effects sound... The weather ambient sound effects cut out. That's how you know. Well, my favorite, like, you know, Resident Evil, Silent, one, one Resident Evil, two Silent Hill, three Dead Space. All right, now four. Uh, have to, I'd have to really think about that. The worst top 10 horror games? Oh, that's even harder. I'd have to look through my Steam list. What? Oh, Men in Black. There's one. Thank you for mentioning that. Bum, bum. Siren. That siren was my favorite. Ugh. <laughs> James. No. Okay. I, I know you're memeing. The aiming in this game is fucking bad. I'm gonna make two saves just in case. What? Never mind. Suffering is fun. I don't know. Here, let me check. Library. Ouch. Oh, wait. 
Thank you, Barry. 500 bits. Thank you. Oh, nice. Thank you, uh, Chow. Parker. Oh. That looks like an explosive. Wait. We may be able to blow that bridge gate with this. Let me hold on to it for a while. Now where? I'm gonna go to sleep just in case. That's a trigger. I'll probably do a real list one day of my top 10 favorite horror games. I think you go to that woman's house, the soup woman. What's our, let's hear it. What, what's everyone's favorite horror games besides Silent Hill or Resident Evil? Because those are like the most... Like, besides anything in those franchises. And Dead Space. I want to hear something actually interesting. Oh, Luigi's Mansion's probably up there for me. I love that game. The Subtract 2 is up there for me. Fatal Frame's up there for me. The if Bloodborne counts, sure. I mean, if yeah, if, uh, yeah, film where I understand, I know what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, I sort of meant with it, no like massive franchises. Where's this guy going? Jesus. Phasma is great. No Dead by Daylights? Thank you, number one, Ryan. I really like Clock Tower 3 as well. That's actually probably up there for me. Yeah, Devotion's a fun one. I've, I like Outlast a lot more than I used to. I've replayed it so many times now that I feel like I'm just brainwashed to like it. Amnesia I don't like though. I don't, I don't enjoy Amnesia. That game is very boring to me. Bam, 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 bam. 
Ice Station Z, I don't think I have. Thank you, Bob, for the 66. Thank you, sir. I played that, Loco. That's... Him. Wait. I'm okay now. You must believe me. That sorcerer deceived me. He was just using me. Please believe me. I know I turned into a monster, but, but I'm okay now. I've got my mind back. And see, my, my, my body's back to normal, too. Even if my blood's green, I'm, I'm still a human being. a weird place to fight a boss. <laughs> Oh god, it makes my camera all fucked. Bro, this song goes in. Linda, 
that Linda you gave us uh, uh, got on that plane. It, it felt like bees were, were flying around in our skulls. <laughs> Don't remember anything else, just the, the buzzing, the buzzing in my head. You've got to stop him. He says he's fusing with the shadow, becoming one with him. Not a hundred percent, James. To get the power to destroy the world. Said that the shadow has been asleep in Death Mountain up north for sixty-five million years, and now the meteor woke it up. You've got to stop him. Now that I've turned into this this thing. Now I realize that I've wasted my life. My wasted life. Dying feels kind of good. Thanks. Couldn't you close? I'd rather not, but... For a second, Laura, I'm like, did I just fucking I, die? I am the great mother. Awake, my child. Awake, my child. The world has begun to turn inward upon itself. Mm -hmm. The sky will be above no longer. The earth below no longer. Goodness. And mankind will be no more. Hurry, child, and arm yourself, or else the world will be no more. Fear not, and go forward in the name of the Great Mother, the creator of all. Thank you, comrades. Anyone else tripping? out of me <laughs> almost gave me a heart attack let me guess the yellow light again now guys we were saved by mother nature mother nature keeps saving our lives Wait, is Parker down there? Oh, he is. Oops. We just had some company. I mean, I guess we're the company, but... You know that guy upstairs? His mother came over. She went up to the second floor and still hasn't come down. Uh-oh. 
even though her widow son seems to have wandered off. I don't know what she could possibly be doing up there by herself. You guys remember the last time we seen that weirdo son? He's dead in here. How's mom taking that? Say, how do you think Kimberly is doing? Wait. No, Kimberly? Oh, wait. Oh, sick. All right. Oops. Oh, shit. Wrong way. Good enough. Level up? No. Alright, so let's go back to that house we fought the boss at. No, you can't run from encounters. Or I don't think you can. He's gone. Want some soup? Thank you, Ninja Monkey. Magnum. It's better than Callisto Protocol. It's better.
Wait, wait. Never mind. Nah. We have our guns. I don't even know how to go. Oh, you have to actually go diagonal. <laughs> Handgun. <laughs> Guys, look. Oh, wait. Did it show up here yet? Christmas. A celebration of the birth of Jesus Christ on December 25th. Usually family, friends, and lovers meet on Christmas Eve to celebrate the coming of this day. Guys, Christmas. Cherry pie. A dessert made from flour and butter kneaded and rolled into thin layers filled with cherries then baked. Cannibalism, the act or custom of eating human flesh. Herbs. I, I put herbs in that uh, food I ate earlier, guys. The FBI. America's Federal Bureau of Investigation. What about God? A being said to possess power that transcends humans, but usually used in Christianity to mean an omniscient and omnipotent supreme being who is the creator and ruler of the universe. Gods have been worshipped in many religions since ancient times. Hell yeah. Earth. UFO. Extinction 65 million years ago. The Ice Age! Humans have caused many similar problems in the past 10,000 years. Fucking wrecked, dude. This is you and I. About 10,000 years ago, humankind left the biosphere and created a human sphere. Global system by engaging agriculture and stock farming techniques to produce food. Oh my god, look at everything we're learning. Soup! At home, Martha makes a healthy soup to restore one's strength. This slightly seasoned tomato soup is great by subtly blending the flavors of pine nuts and raisins into a slowly stewed tomato sauce. Damn! We gotta make Martha's soup one day. Here, I gotta use the bathroom. I'll be right back. Guys, write that soup recipe down. I love all, all the things it takes note of in this game are crazy. Bye. 
One second, one second. Okay, people, my Christmas light shut off. There we go. Look at them go. Look, I brought I brought you guys some roasted chickpeas. You guys like chickpeas? Does it sound like a good soup? I don't know, it depends how many pine nuts and raisins she put in. Those were salty. Look at his face. I would like to see the, um, what's it called arc for this game? The, uh, um, uh, you know. Yeah, the concept arc. Thank you, Anonymous, for the gifted sub, by the way. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for all the generosity. Thank you, thank you, do 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 Hey, thank you, thank you, do 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 Bruh. Die, eyeball. Oh god, three of them. You know, I might just toss her. Why 
Might just toss it. We might level up from that. Hey, Paisanos! Oh, oh no, three again. We could take him. We could take him. Fast. Martha Soup killed the dinosaurs, yeah. Laura. Kimberly. Has Jenny come back yet? She's not out here either. If we could just open the damn gate. We could cross to the other side, but I guess there's nothing we can do now. The rest of the game is pretty damn good. You guys are going to like it. <sighs> Go back to the house. Please teleport me there. Thank you, God. Glad you're enjoying Rude Answer. We still can't find Janny. I'm really worried about her now. Did you find anything, Parker? Hey. Is that a time bomb? That should take care of the gate. Set it to go off in, say, well, it's from here to the stone bridge. 15 minutes should be long enough. Hey, just hold on a minute. We haven't even tested this thing yet. Test? Don't be such a wuss. Come on, hurry up. I have a gate to blow up. All right, all right. One, five, zero, zero. Okay, set to go off in 15 minutes. You start cutting it too close, just toss it. Please, just because it took you 15 minutes to crawl over there on a snowmobile doesn't mean the rest of us are that slow. Five minutes, that's all I need. You wanna bet me? I don't play those kind of games. <laughs> Have it your way. Well, I'm impressed. Ooh, I wasn't sure you could do anything. Give me a break. Well, I I'm off then. Be good. See you soon. <laughs> nah, he said it for 15 minutes. Yeah, I know, guys. Hey, what do you think of her? I, uh, to tell you the truth, I had my doubts about her at one point. I thought maybe she'd already gone floral, turned into a monster already. I guess I was wrong. She's got a monster inside, all right, but it's a far more terrible kind. It's called loneliness. Here Everyone we go. Everyone has a measure of it inside, but somehow she just can't learn how to keep it under control. <laughs> and this loneliness is eating her up. Damn. We all know those feels. Hurting me. Isn't there anything I could do for her? Maybe if I were a priest, I could offer her faith if I were a warrior I could protect her I'm just just me I can't offer her anything it's been days since that crash and I hey what time is it holy shit I didn't set it for 15 minutes I set it for 1500 hours don't you see? I didn't set the thing to go off in 15 minutes. It's set for 3 p.m. There's only five minutes left. Kimberly! Wait! 
<laughs> I love that cutscene. I do wish we got some sick music for this part, but yeah. Missed opportunity. We still have the second bomb. <sighs> oh. What's with you? You said you wanted to help me. I was this close to getting killed. And if I had, it would have been all your fault. I'm so sorry. Engineer. Yeah, right. Murderer is more like it. So you think you can just do what you please with my life, is that it? You have no idea how glad I am to see you. Get out. It makes no difference to me whether you're here or not. Just get out of my sight. Just get out of here. Sorry about that. Can you do me a favor? This is kind of my lucky charm. I think it's better for Kimberly to have it instead of me. If you don't mind, could you please give it to her? I'm sorry. I know it isn't his fault. But it just went off anyway. Can I tell you something? <laughs> I lost my father when I was very young. He died and left nothing but a huge debt. Every day, the loan sharks would show up at the house and every day, they would take it out on my mother. I'll never forget finding her that January morning. My mother killed herself. She put a bullet in her head. They showed up that day too. And then when they realized they could never lay their dirty hands on her ever again, they came after me. I grabbed the revolver from my mother's hand and I fired at them. I escaped through the window, and I ran away. And every night since, that morning has repeated in my dreams. The thing is, 
I started taking Linda to deal with my dreams. But I just can't deal with men anymore. I, I can't even face him in the same room. That's why when Parker said he just wanted to protect me, no man has ever said a thing like that to me before. I didn't know how to react, but I'm going to apologize to him in the morning. I know I can trust him. And this time, I'll stop pushing him away. I promise. Yeah, I actually really like the characters in this game. Well, I mean, you talk about how it's one of my favorite games ever. Obviously, I love everything about the game. Did I wake you? <clears throat> I'm, well, writing a poem. You guys are forgetting about a certain character, though. Show it to Parker. Do you think he'll read it? He sounds like George from Outbreak. Oh, Laura. You know what? I'm so sorry I woke you. I've started to feel these stabbing pains throughout my body. Every time I move my head. Oh. I don't think it is him, but I'm checking. Every time I raise my arm. I get this constricting feeling. Oh. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, I'm fine. Oh, thanks. Don't worry about me. Oh. Oh, I see the survivors in the other rooms. I'm supposed to. Oh, I'm supposed to take care of you. Oh. But. But I. Morning, Laura. <laughs> Parker, I, um, uh, I'm sorry about last night. Stay away from me. <laughs> Look at this. I've somehow been infected. I'm still all right. I haven't blossomed yet. I'm still thinking straight. And I can make my own decisions for now. But it's only a matter of time and I can't risk harming you two. I gotta go. You can't. You'll be all right. You're not like the dinosaurs. You have this, and this too. Just know it's never too late. Being human means having free will, and the challenge is making the right choice. Nuclear power can be used to destroy cities or explore out of space. Drugs can be used to cure mental illness or escape from the world. The choices are yours. It's also true of what you do with your heart. <laughs> the deep messages. Maybe humanity, every one of us as individuals, is being told it's time to grow up. I'll see you around. Don't die, either of you. No, wait. Mm. Maybe we could still find a cure. There's no need for you to just leave like this. <laughs> do you think you'll miss me when I'm no longer myself? Yes, I will. Will you remember me? Of course. Then just smile for me. 
Smile for me, Kimberly. Come on, Kimberly. That's it. Smile, everyone. Come on, I, I know you can do it. Oh, Parker. Thank you, Kimberly. You'll never be alone. <laughs> I went to sleep last night after I wrote that poem for him. Thank you, Benny, over the tier three. Thank you. Nice to see you. I never slept so soundly without taking Linda. And no, don't worry, because it'll, it'll pick up. I dreamt that I was crossing that bridge with Parker. And on the other side was a fresh new world. A totally new life. If you're not laughing at the game, it is really sad. Laura, where's that other bomb? <gasps> Did he? Wait to look at chat for this. Parker! Parker! Please answer me! I know you're here! It's not fair. You can't just leave me like this! <laughs> Parker! This <laughs> hat! Yeah, she always has like crazy mood swings and is insanely emotional all the time. Where's the body? Please, I need to be alone for a while. What? Guess we're going back. Wait, how am I doing on healing? Oh shit, is this three? Hey!
shit. Hello? Oh. Thank you, Block Owns, as well, for the big 7 1, sir. Thank you. So glad everyone is joining for this game. There's nothing more I love than showing a bunch of people <laughs> random ass games that are out there. And they're awesome! I actually love this game. Surprise. Oh, I can't zoom in because my freaking thing's right in front of me. I'm very excited to run into an old character that we haven't seen in a while. Bum bum bum. The block on Skiga Chad, yeah. Holy shit, Team Pocket. Glad you're enjoying. Bum, 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 bum. God, I'm so glad a lot of these fights are easy. Did I miss a healing item? Where am I? Uh -huh. We need to do some frickin' hunting. I don't think you can hunt in the final area. That's why I'm so afraid right now. played all the Mass Effect games. Well, I didn't play Andromeda. Holy shit. Still no level. I played all the ones that matter. This has got to be a level up. Um, um. Yeah, I love Mass Effect too. The other, the other ones are all right. Oh my god, this this dude. God, I would kill for more Martha soup. 
What about you guys? Okay, what's going on in here? Oh, Laura, Laura, help me, help me. I've been hiding because I was so scared. Kimmy was acting weird to me. And that man upstairs too, she. Was you two who did that to my boy? To my Tom! Little monsters. Was it uh -oh. for torturing him? I saw how you treated him. You fed on him, didn't you? Did he taste good? How did my little boy taste? <sighs> Come. I'll treat this little one like you did my son. I'll eat her down to the bone and enjoy every last bite. Bruh. <laughs> this is such a weird fight. No. Come on, Tom. Let's play a piece together. Here's my own dreams and ambitions. Please forgive me. Come on, Tom. Let's play a piece together. Come on, Tom. Can you hear me? up. She takes like no damage. Zero meat. I bought the style of the animal was wanted. I my own dreams and ambitions on you. Please forgive me. Tom, Tom, get your hit. Dude! It takes like no bit damage. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to shoot her in the violin. But then those the hands will get destroy you. Okay, that's it. I wait the I know you've always wanted. Sniped. I'm already oom or uh I have no ambitions on you. Please forgive me. I wasn't very good at raising you, was I? Don't can you hear me? God, I don't know what to do. I'm getting destroyed. Alright. I, I had her in the head for a second, but it keeps moving down itself. There we go. Oh, you're supposed to shoot on like the violent stick. What's it called? What's it, the stick called? Don't, don't, 
The bow, that's it. You're terrible at raising him. You how? Ah, oh, you just can't aim up that. There we go. Come on. It's us. It's. It, the aiming is like really, 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 really janky. Listen, lady. You're a terrible mom. Alright, I'm tossing the fucking nade. I hope this does some good damage. What? That did garbage. Good at raising you, was I? My own dreams and ambitions on you. Please forgive me. Woo. I wanted so much to play a duet with you, Tom. Please forgive me. <laughs> Laura, Laura, I'm so scared. That's what Kimmy did. She wasn't a monster, but she... I went upstairs because the door was open and I saw Kimmy and she was doing mean things to that man. And then Kimmy saw me and she started chasing me too. I don't know if that's supposed to. That's why I, I went and hid. Oh, the grenade's like a 100% hit rate. You toss it into another country. So that's what's been happening. anything but if Jenny says so uh, I must have Laura I'm gonna find Parker and be with him I'm not alone anymore I'm not afraid of the loneliness no not anymore I wish I hadn't lived to do these things. But, but until just a few days ago, I had nothing to even regret losing. If, if I could go back in time and see myself the way I was, I would give her a, a hard slap across the face. Then I'd take her to meet you and Parker. And I would tell her, these are your friends starting today. Laura, I've changed my mind. If I could just have another chance at life, I'd like to be reborn as myself. And I'd like to have you as my friend again. Oh. Promise? Would you be? <sighs> Thank Friends, you. guys. Thank you first for the 29. I'm going now. Don't turn around, please. Please. There's no need to see me off. Remember, this isn't goodbye. We're friends. Friends for life. Thank you, Rarlarius, for the 68.
Thank you, sir. Well, now we're all, well, we're not all alone. You may as well be, we're. I might skip my first cutscene, guys, or on purpose. Here it comes, you ready? Six hours in. I just really <laughs> don't care what she has to say. <laughs> I just want to get it over with. <laughs> Yikes, dude. He's probably just like, oh, I'm so scared. Laura, Laura, what should we do? Can I give you a summary? All right, well, we'll listen to what her repeat combo says. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Laura, don't ever leave me alone, okay? Please. <laughs> well, wasn't too far off. Shadow, the final destroyer. Mm -hmm. The kid is, is okay in this game, but a lot of her lines are the same. Like, she says she's so scared. Like, that's most of her dialogue. Which, uh, makes sense in this situation. I could see myself in 40 years doing this kind of shit for an RE3 re-remake. Zang zing zaka. Laura, Laura! Let's go shit minion. Um, I really hope we can hunt in the next area. I'm scared. It's inconsistent for sure, but I think some of it like the writing is definitely uh, very, what's the word for it? It deals with a lot of just human themes and and stuff about humanity and, and like uh, emotions, yada yada. Laura. There's a word to describe it, I just don't know. Are you know. really dead? I heard everyone talking. Not politics. <laughs>
Kimberly. The child is like, uh. That's gonna be a healthy, a healthy adult. Oh no. First there was light. And what lay between the stars was called courting darkness. <laughs> Adrift even from sorrow, the survivors turned letters from the sun to ashes. Courting darkness, from the inkwell of their veins, the survivors took to weaving words of abomination. The words spoke not of the heart. The words instead armored the soul. And the survivors made a fortress of their folly. On the first day, they made fire to burn the sky. On the second day, they made fire to burn the sea. On the third day, they made fire to burn the earth. On the fourth day, they made fire to burn the stars. On the fifth day, there was nothing. No way, this is the ending? There was emptiness. forbidden and the darkness began to change strength began to course and the strength beget power you swept a boat out into the swelling river and guided me across on a link of Sing it. oh i count the, the roses I don't get what this is trying to say. Crystallize. But I also missed a little bit of it. In the verdance of the trees, gather Wait. what falls from the sky, you cried. Fly, you cried. I think there's supposed to be a video Fly, playing. You cried. Fly, you cried. Maybe. And when the gods arrive. Life finally came to an end. As it started, they saw boundless joy, and they knew it was your doing. What you guarded in their stead is the brightness that shines within. What you guarded in their stead, I shall call love. And understand at last. Where's that light? Is it a long one? Hey, at least it's like one fourth of the size of Silent Hill 2's letter. <laughs> to a fear for power even now and together they shall become the shadow Laura you are the chosen one you must awake ah uh, Superman superwoman hey guys do you understand the story now
So even though it's shoved it down your throat, Laura is the chosen one. You're playing a very special character. She was in World War II, one. She was back when the dinosaur she was around. No, I, that's not true. Wrong person Laura. asked, Miss Molly. Laura! Laura! <laughs> Let's go. Laura. One thing that is crazy though, I'm just saying. So this game came out at the same time as like Resident Evil 3 original. Like, how a lot of you guys and gals are looking at this game's dialogue and like the voice acting in particular. In particular the voice acting. You know, the next generation is going to look back at Silent, some, like a masterpiece like Silent Hill 2 and think the exact same thing. But, it, it, in my case for this game, and in everyone's case for Silent Hill 2, I grew up with this game. So, like, for me, it just goes right through me. I don't even, I don't even acknowledge the inconsistent voices. It was very well written, but the voice acting is definitely up for debate. Don't look at me like that. It's okay, Laura. I'm not afraid of dying now. Laura, I want you to do something for me. Leave me here and go. You've got to stay alive. There's nothing more I can do. I'm all... Please, Laura, don't look so sad. Are we ever going to meet this no character? I have how happy I've been sp spending my last days with you. You kept me going. And that's why, more than anything else in the world, I want you to survive. The moment I saw you on that plane, I knew I had to keep you safe. I don't know why, yeah. but I just knew I had to. Laura's VA is perfect. That's why. That's why you've got to survive. That's why you have to insert All disc I can four. for now is to leave you with a smile. I wish I had something you could take with you. But I... But I... Disc four time? It is. By the way, I'm just being a shit disturber with the Silent Hill 2 stuff. Because that is such a popular game that there are people out there that you can't say a single negative thing about it. Remake though, well, that will be the perfect game. He finally made it up the hill.
Get your poggers ready, guys. No, it's not. I mean, there are like a million unanswered questions. You don't want to lose it. It's a precious gift from your mother, Laura. Parton Laboratory. Parton! That's the same last name as yours, Laura. Thank you. Now that is a kid this thing to say. This is the Lucy Parton Laboratory. The entire facility has been shut down. Only authorized personnel are permitted access. <laughs> this is the Lucy Parton Laboratory. The entire facility has been shut down. <laughs> Only authorized personnel are permitted access. Please state your name. Uh oh. Please state your name. Uh oh. This is Laura. Laura Parton. She can speak. <laughs> she just chose not to. <laughs> Or something. Laura, have you been here before? Back to business. It's free. Thank you, Jack. I'm a little cold. The fourteen months. I did, sir. I did. DNA scan completed. Laura Parton, please enter. Laura Parton's last visit was 27 years ago. Your associate is not cleared for access. Please wait here. Sorry, kid. The story ends for you. It's okay. I'll wait for you here. I know you'll come back. I'll wait for you. We'll see about that. Alright guys, get your pens and paper out. You're about to learn a lot. So as we understand, so everyone's been taking the drug Lucy, right? And the drug's been making people act a little welcome. loopy. On behalf of the Lucy Parton Laboratory, I would like to welcome you to the visitor center. Please press any button for the information you desire. And I guess the Lucy drug is named after the Lucy Corporate or Linda drug is named after the Lucy Corporation, sorry. Um or it should be quite clear. Sorry, it is Linda. It, it should be clear that it comes from this uh, laboratory. Um, and obviously Lucy is Laura's distant cousin. 
This facility houses the Lucy Parton Laboratory of the LPL Corporation and includes the Research and Development Division. The facility, which was moved here to Ultramarine City in 1971, consists of four separate wings. The Visitor Center, which also serves as the showroom. The main laboratory, where the actual research is conducted. The Parton Tower Office Complex, and the library, where all data is archived. Ooh. Yeah, that's a little hand. The Lucy Parton Laboratory of the LPL Corporation was established by the Parton family in 1963. The primary objective of establishing this facility was to continue the research work in molecular biology and genetic engineering, particularly the field of cloning technology, initiated by then Chief Executive of the LPL Corporation or and Director of Research, Dr. Lucy Parton. Laura's mom is Albert Lasker. The cloning Lasker. project was discontinued in 1974, several months after There's Dr. Your story. Parton was seriously injured in a laboratory accident. However, the facility continued to conduct research on agricultural applications of genetic engineering under a government grant until 1981. The genetic engineering technology researched and developed here by the LPL Corporation is still helping to feed the world by increasing the nutritional content of certain types of livestock and grain. Since 1981, only the Visitor Center wing has functioned as a showroom for molecular biotechnology and genetic engineering. All proceeds from the center are channeled to various university research funds. Bullshit. Thank you, Tap. Dr. Lucy Parton, Chief Executive of LPL Corporation and Director of the Lucy Parton Laboratory, was born in 1932 in Chicago, Illinois. After a brilliant and much accelerated academic career, she and her father, the well-known entrepreneur and former LPL chairman, Roy Parton, founded the Lucy Parton Laboratory in 1957, an institute dedicated to research in molecular biology, particularly the then-fledgling field of genetic engineering. Lucy Parton is especially well known for her work on mammoth cell cloning, a project that began in 1963 with the discovery of a perfectly preserved woolly mammoth found in the subarctic permafrost. Dr. Parton also left lasting marks in other fields such as medicine and agriculture before her life and work were cut short in 1973 by a research-related accident. What research-related accident? data concerning this technology has been erased. Laura Parton, a level D plus key has been issued in your name. You may access the main laboratory. going that's the only floor we're allowed to know what's on <laughs> Laura has parents yep 
Silent Hill 2. You guys are gonna love the next boss. It's the best part of the game. Thank you, Retro Ninja, for the 12 months. Alright, listen close, guys. Listen close. You've come very far, Laura. I am Lucy. Your mother. I've been waiting for you. Laura? I'm right here. I know that you've come very far, my beloved Laura. It all began 38 years ago, with a genetic memory, asleep in a wall of Arctic ice. In 1963, I began working on a special project using cloning technology to bring mammoths back from extinction. My team discovered a perfectly preserved mammoth specimen in the winter permafrost of northern Canada in 1971. And we were able to extract genetic material from the cell nucleus. Unfortunately, there was too much chromosome damage. But we found something else. In the stomach of that frozen mammoth, we found the undigested remains of a totally unknown organism. Mammoths were believed to be herbivores, but this one anyway had apparently eaten another creature. And what a creature! It looked human, but had a pair of wings sprouting from its back. We removed him. Yes, the creature was male, from the stomach for further study. Then I decided that we would extract a sperm specimen and attempt fertilization using my ovum and in my womb. I decided Rise. to give birth to a hybrid child, fathered by this winged human. The fertilization was successful, but the embryo developed without a trace of wings. That made no difference to me. The child was the fulfillment of my dreams. A miraculous collaboration between me and that being we found inside the mammoth. The baby was born in the early hours of December 31st, under the most spectacular display of Aurora Borealis that winter. It was born across that span of time. I took the first letter of my given name and added the Latin word for air, aura and named the child Laura. It's We're an true. alien. That was how you entered this world, Laura. <gasps> when I was in labor with you, I had a vision. Something akin to the will of the cosmos spoke to me and described something important. That a powerful spirit had appeared in the space-time continuum and was on its way to Earth from the far reaches of space, and that it would arrive on Earth when my child had become a grown woman. At that moment, for the first time, I felt the enormity, even the sin, of what I had done. But at the same time, I saw in you the hands of fate. Then, seven days later, my own life ended. But others at this institute and the government wanted to repeat the experiment. They wanted to bring those winged human beings of prehistoric times back to life. They transferred my mind and will to this, to Zylo. But without a compatible ova or a willing surrogate in which to bring the embryo to term, their efforts ended in failure. Look. <laughs> Laura, you must kill me. 
end your mother's torment so that no one will ever repeat this mistake. Do it now, while I still have my will. All right, I'll fill in the gaps for you guys. Please kill me, Laura. Those are legs. Laura, Those are thighs. Kill me. Laura, kill me. Kill me. Kill me. Kill me. Kill me. It's time. <laughs> this game would fly today. I don't know what you guys are talking about. It's, it's all these fucked up things that have happened in this game that make me appreciate it's like one of a kind for some of the ideas it, it tries to tackle. By the way, correct me if I'm wrong, but these like Resident Evil and Silent Hill are rel Silent Hill not as much, but are relatively grounded with their ideas. Like they don't explore more than like, you know, Resident Evil is just plain and simple. There's a virus, this is what the virus is called. These are the doctors, this is the lab. That's it. But but this game talks about fucking everything from the bottom of the barrel human emotion to the fucking cosmos. And it covers all those ideas. So it's like it's a very, very, very ambitious game, which doesn't it doesn't quite hit a home run <laughs> with the writing and the story. But you do have to give it some respect that it tries really hard to be something massive. <sighs> which it's not over, by the way. I'm so scared. We still got a whole zone. Oh, this is far better than police though. In my opinion. <sighs> Thank you, Chippo. But basically, I think what the game is trying to say is that Lara is basically like an alien slash angel-like being that Mother Nature has chosen to defend Laura, the world from this evil. Laura Parton. Essentially. The evil one has joined himself to a fearful power and has been remade. The evil one knows you, my child, and shall seek you out. Go forward, Laura. You must not stop, no matter what. You guys want to see a busy chat? Just wait till the end. <laughs> oh, this this is the best part in the game. This is the best part in the game. I hope we can hunt here. I always forget. I, I think we can't, which I'm in 
deep water if we can't. <gasps> we'll see though. Where's the kid? here. Hey, Laura, I discovered something. What matters most is time. I had a dream. Mm -hmm. There were big dinosaurs walking around. And then lots of people making buildings in the desert. There All right, guys. people on a ship crossing a big ocean. Rejoice will come soon. were shooting at each other with guns. I saw big trees being chopped down and jet fighters in the sky. And then a really big, big explosion. There was a space rocket going straight up and astronauts hopping up and down on the moon. And animals getting shots in a lab. A big wave of water came and washed away a town. And a whole mountain caught on fire. There was something that looked like a forest, but it was all missiles instead of trees. It was kind of like when you fast forward a long movie. But I knew it wouldn't go the other way. And I thought that's what's really important. Time is the only thing that can't go back. It's kind of like a lesson. Like Grandpa teaches me. Stark, screw the Spider-Man, oh. and Laura, and Avengers. I think I'm getting sick. Laura, ah. I can't talk. Laura, I'm scared. Please, Laura, I'm scared. I'm scared. Laura, <laughs> I'm so scared. Goodbye. Goodbye, puddle lady. By the way, only then can you save your world. It's been seven hours and forty minutes. This stream has fucking flown by for me. I don't know about you guys. I feel like I just started. This game, in all, like all intents and purposes, should be the most boring game. It's like Metal Gear Solid Four, except about a franchise you don't. There's one game of, um, but. Well, I don't know how you guys feel, because I have rose-tinted glasses with this game. It's something I grew up with, and I played it a few times when I was a kid. Um, but yeah, I love it. 
Um, no. So, I don't know if it's gonna be tomorrow or Tuesday. I'm playing, um... Uh... Final Fantasy Reunion, or the new one coming out. God, I hope we don't get into too many hard fights, cuz... Oh, shit. Is there four? Late 19. I mean, this game apparently this game came out in the same year as uh, Resident Evil 3, which just goes to show how far ahead of its time it is. Uh oh. But Dreamcast was just a like Dreamcast tried to be the most ambitious. Like Dreamcast tried to push the limits on everything. level up. Oh no. I need to save it. <laughs> God, every time we save it, it's been like an hour. Uh, alright. We got too many fights. Too many fights. This fight should be easy, I hope. Yeah, I'm reloading. Come on, level up, level up, level up heals you to full, so. No. Um, oh good, it's just one. I'm definitely using a grenade on the next fight. Come on, can you hunt? Where's the hares and the birds? Oh, it's just one guy. I can't use a grenade on him. Da, 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 da. 
It's okay. We haven't died yet, but I'm scared. I guess there's no animals. It's got charged at me. Oh shit, I have no ammo left. I was trying to save my health for the full heal from reloading. Or f no, no, no. I just, I kept my health low because I just wanted that free full heal. <laughs> uh, shit. Well, at least we just saved it. As far as I know, there's no way to dodge attacks. Oops, I didn't mean to use both of those. We'll need to anyway. No, I do not want to use two big heals. No, no, he 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 won't kill me. He won't kill me. I think fights are just like really, really like what enemies you fight, how close they are to you and how aggressive they are. I think is just like the luck of the draw. I have two heals total. We're going to get a lot more here though. Yeah, I gotta toss some grenades. As soon as I get that level, I will... Oh, I'm throwing one here. I'm gonna get destroyed. This has gotta be level up. There we go. But yeah, because of this section, it definitely, uh... Shit, I can't remember which way we came from. Yeah, there's speedruns in this game. This is the right way. I can't even tell. Oh, is this where I came from? Oh my god, he's so close.
Wait, I can tell if I use my gun. Oh yeah, it was, okay. We have to destroy the ring, Mr. Frodo. It was epic, Mizzy. I streamed. I streamed, I streamed. Oh, wow. No! Wow, wow. Items galore. Okay, no aggressive guys. They're, oh my god, he's like in my face. Yeah, the game is almost over though, by the way. We're very, very close to the end. Has nothing to do with the U.N. You yike! Any items? I don't think so. Oh shit! There's an item all the way over there. Okay, we're definitely throwing the nade for this shit. Yeah, surprise how long this game is, and I, for the most part, know where to go and when to go there, for the most part. Wow, instant nade throw and I still got hit. This game can take people, like, casually, this game can take, like, a very long time. Like, 10 plus hours. But for, for like, chapter one, and cha for disc one and two, I rarely went the wrong way. I went exactly where I was supposed to go. Because I already knew where to go, because I've beaten this game four times already. Yeah, two when I was a kid and two on stream. Yeah, that was we have a lot of red heels now. This is this is good. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, Nekaja. Yeah. What? How much like? I mean, I yeah, I get the gist of it as a kid, but um, there's a lot like you know how Silent Hill Two, you have one playthrough does nothing for like. You know that James killed his wife and stuff and yada yada, but beyond that, and like he feels remorse and whatever, but beyond that, like you're not grasping anything, anything else really. Um, but so too, it's like there's em endless stuff to learn. It's semi similar to this game, like, but less so much about the game and more so much about like all the metaphors about just. Humans destroying the world. Just spoil it, why don't- what, you talk, Are you fucking- Are you talking about Silent Hill 2? Hey, I'm in the boat- I hate when people spoil stuff. But if you're talking about the game for PlayStation 2 that came out 20 fucking years ago, if you wanted to play it, you would have played it by now. Jesus Christ. if he was just born. That's the non-canon ending. on this probably thought they were changing everyone that did anything for dreamcast thought they were changing gaming history i'm about to get fucking wombo comboed oh good they backed off for no reason Shadow the final destroyer. Shadow the final dude. I used to love when back in Hybrid Heaven. Yeah, I'm sorry if I spoiled Silent Hill 2 for anyone legitimately, but like, to be fair, this channel talks about all things horror all the time. I freaking speed ran through Silent Hill 2, so 99.9% of people here have already played it. Sorry, but sorry, fellas. Well, here, I can actually, I can actually, uh, do a redemption arc. Um, you know, figure out James did that within, like, ten minutes if you're actually an, an, an intelligent person, okay? And if you're not an intelligent person, you won't understand the game anyway. So it's a win-win. I didn't ruin anything. Yeah, no problem. I saved you searching it all up on wiki feet.
Please don't be a lot of enemies. Got your eye. He's pissed about it. My view. I refuse to heal. Please level, please level. Come on, come on. Yikes. I do want to get in one more fight so I get a full heal, but I don't know, whatever. All right, go, oh. Yo, Knight. Yo, Kalimi. Yo, Nick, thank you. Damn it. Wait, I just healed though. Don't level me. We should be fine. I, I forget how hard the last boss is. But, um, I hope you guys enjoy a blurry screen because the bitrate cannot handle this fight. That's me. I am the Great Mother. Awake now, Laura, my child. And Laura, know the planet you inhabit. Know the time you move through it. Awaken the memories that sleep within you. Laura, you must know and feel everything. This is Mother Earth. This is your home. Awake unto it. We are Mother Earth? Alright guys, here we go. This game was secretly made by Kojima. Laura, how many days has it been since the crash? Time just seems to fade into the distance for me now. It's strange, but I don't feel sad. The snow will soon cover my body. Time will cease to exist, and I'll disappear under the thick. I have no clue why she melted. And in that whiteness, all this 
will transform itself. I've always into just water accepted it. And earth. Over a longer period of time than I ever could have imagined. And maybe one day I'll come back again as a very small flower. I'll blossom and grow. There's an interesting thought for you, Laura, don't you think? Me, as a plant? I've never so much as even had a plant in my apartment. But now I'm on my way to being reincarnated as one. Just think. Someday, someone may walk past me. They may be laughing or crying when they do. Or they may be full of hope. Or in deep despair. But it won't matter to me then. Because a flower doesn't care what it has or doesn't have. Mm -hmm. Preach. It just is. Protruding from the snow. Waving in the breeze. But it's different with you, Laura. You must survive. Don't worry about me. Rescue the I'll survivors. Be staying here. In the other rooms. Thinking of you. Dreaming of you. Laura. It's okay. You can do it. If anyone can. It's you. I know that. Yep. All right, take cover, Bitrate. <gasps> Can you see me, guys? More meats. Grown old without growing wise. And this planet, not content with its first folly, it creates a second, even more foolish, dominant species. All this shall be destroyed, and all must begin anew. He's basically Thanos, except fully Get evil. Out. How dare you challenge my power? Hello? Oh. I could have saved it there, I think. There's a bug in here! Oh fool, you shall die. Take cover! The dominant species has entered my room, a fly. Wait. Oh, this pistol's terrible for him, because it auto-aims. Help! Don't worry, this fight's actually pretty cool. You'll see. That did a lot of damage.
so futile in the face of my awesome power. Now you shall experience my true power. <laughs> Look guys, best part, or well, best part of the boss fight. So what did he say? He's got first my eyes? What about them? I can still see, he's crazy. Now your bit rate. I shall Let attack you. Bit rate. Your ears, and these words will be the last you ever hear. Laura. Laura. Oh yeah, well he took our ears and our eyes, so we can't hear or see right now. Yeah. Laura. Yeah, he's about to take all my healing items. Well, there it is. So we can get the rest of his health down. Hee <laughs> hee. How do you feel now? Grovel in fear. First you are blind. Then you are deaf. And now you will move no longer. Do you understand what that means? Death. It means death. The certain death that is yours and you will be lost in the vast abyss for all eternity. We can hear though, we the player. He's talking to us. I have one health. Laura, Laura. Well guys, GG, how'd you like D2?
I guess it's time to say goodbye. Oh, Laura, don't be sad. You'll be all right. It's okay. You'll be able to make it through. And look, I have something special to give you. Here it is. I hope you'll think of me every time you look at it. I've put it away in your keepsake. Oh yeah? What is this? What's happening? My body, my mind. Stop it. How could I? It's not possible. All right, guys, everyone scream at your monitor. Laura, now. Now! I have one health. A little scared. Die, bitch! All right, sit back and relax. We just reached the halfway point of the game. No, I'm just kidding, guys. David? Laura, Laura, Laura. What? Can you hear me? The evil here has been destroyed. You can move again now. Laura, the time has come for you to bond with that fearsome power. Though you cannot see nor can you hear, you must slowly go forward, my child. One step at a time. And with this new power, this unknown force, you will bring salvation. You, Laura, will save your world. Feel the earth underfoot, my child. Awaken the sleeping memory of your wings and believe in the power that lies in the palm of your hands. That power will grant you miraculous things. Now go, my child. Laura, child of destiny, born across the shores of time. Listen well, my child. You do not know that this apparently endless universe Red. does not have an end. Favorite little drag theory. So infinite to misleading senses will one yes, day sir. stop. You know so little, for you are but a child, a newborn. You must journey forth again, and this voyage will be far longer and more much more terrifying. Now is the time to find him. Do you remember? Let's find Do you David. remember the name of the one who saved you? It was he who safeguarded your soul. Go and find him, and thus forge that power at last into one. Laura, my child, call his name. Speak his name so that all lives and all that will be born shall be saved. Call him 
and recreate yourself as you were meant to be. Now, now, Laura. David! Wait, action button? David. We're rolling back the clock, baby! Oh, wait. It's rewind time. So yeah, earlier when Kimberly was talking about going back in time and changing things, it's like... I don't know exactly what she's supposed to change. Maybe not get on the flight. I don't I don't overly get this part. If there's one thing I don't remember everything about when I replay this game, it's the story. Which is most of the game, but remember all the cool shit though. Kimberly Fox, she wrote a book. Guys, Kimberly! <gasps> you... uh... dropped this. David! Here, you wouldn't want to lose it, Laura. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't help seeing your name on this. Uh, and besides, I feel like we've met before. Hey, that book you have, you read Kimberly Fox? Who doesn't? I've read some of her work. I've never met anyone else who's even heard of her. She isn't widely recognized. Like they're talking about Not this yet. game. And me. My favorite piece in this book is this. This poem, Light. We know that poem. A sort of hypothetical woman. The poet's imaginary best friend. This woman is... Oh, I get it now. Oh. That's why I felt like we'd met before. Ah, you remind me of her. Okay. For me... So I was right about the poem. Strange, but, <laughs> well, it is strange. I highly recommend it. It's a wonderful poem. Everything Kimberly Fox writes is so filled with hope. And love of life. Oh, Laura, look. Yeah, <laughs> he hasn't. She hasn't said a word yet. Dave is just like going on and on. It's snowing. Yeah, it's yours. It's so beautiful. Well, anyway, I guess I'll be going. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. David. <laughs> David's like 
This is so unrealistic. It makes me sick. Yeah, hey, ladies, there's there's some advice for it. You want you want a man? Just you make the first move. Boom. Good enough. That's the first time a lady has talked to David in 20 years. Yeah, hey, that's all it takes. Unironically, though. Hey, uh, you, uh, it may sound like I'm joking. All right. Now, I don't don't recommend going and trying it, but you know, if the odd, in the odd chance you do, let me know how it happens. Let me know what happens. All right, now for the actual ending. That's how your girlfriend snagged you? Nice, dude. Nice. The same, by the way. Thank you, Peter Parker. And make sure to yell David, Rakir. I won't respond to anything else. Thank you, Tacos, for dinner. Are you still here, sir? Tacos! <gasps> Thank you, Peter Parker. Tacos for dinner. Look, guys, the dinosaurs. All right, so, guys, what? explain what's happening right now. I know crisis. Even though the story is very, very hard to comprehend and the Writers obviously had an ulterior motive with uh, what they wanted the player to understand out of this. Like you'll see in the credits, there, you'll you'll see what I mean. Um, I still really love this game, and the overarching story is like, you know, oh humanity's ruining ruining everything. Be a better person, and and try and save the earth. Uh, but then the actual, like, main story focuses on with Laura and, and Kimberly and the other side characters you meet throughout the game. I really enjoy that. Uh, and I enjoy the exploration and the combat, I think, is, is fine as it is. Uh, but one thing I really love is when you explore environments, um, when you are, when the gameplay is so immersive when you're exploring the environments, they're very, they're a lot easier to remember. And it's a lot easier to take in all the knowledge when the game is 90% focused around it. So every time I play this game, it's one of the few games that I, every single area that I see, I like recognize it 100% because you spend so much time closely inspecting everything. And there's a cutscene for literally every single thing you do. So it brings you closer to the world, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, uh, the ending is a little, a little much. But uh, I can't wait for the credits to roll. Who likes the stock, stock footage? Do, do, do. Are you enjoying dragon flying, Mr. Fred? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lauren, for the 14 months. Thank you. Ah, uh, yeah, I feel ya. Thank you, Chipset. Same feelings, Fred.
The dinosaurs just minded their own business and then a meteorite killed them. And humans are just busy killing each other. But they're also helping each other. Look. But they're also killing each other. The dinosaurs were minding their own goddamn business. Fuck the forests. That's what humans say. Fuck the planet. Fuck the planet. Fuck the planet. But all for the greater good, right? I'm explaining this the the story in a the most harsh way possible. This is what you're doing to people. Nuclear power, the drug industry, famine, war. True. Those were all soup troopers. The Earth came into existence about 4.6 billion years ago and is the third planet in our solar system. <laughs> Here we go. Estimated world population 1999 about 6 billion. World population growth in 1998 78 million. <sighs> Estimated world population 2100 10.4 billion. Number of people infected with the HIV virus worldwide, 100,000 1980, 1998, 33 million. Number of people worldwide newly infected with HIV virus, estimate for 1998, 5.8 million. It's got to do with everything. AIDS related deaths worldwide, 1998, 2.5 million oh we're just getting started guys sit back number of starving people in the world wide in 1998 830 million look at all these people suffering do you not care wow do you people not care let's rewind the tape like four hours when we you're talking about getting offended number of illiterate people worldwide in 1998 about one billion one billion Oh, and no one cares. Send the lulls. I'm memeing, by the way. I'm just kidding. Number of people worldwide living without electricity. Two billion. Two billion potential soup troopers. Number of children worldwide who died from malnutrition. 19,000 children every single day. Average life expectancy, 1900s, 35. 1997, 67. What is it now? Rainforest destruction from 1980 to 1995, 772,000 square miles. Wake up, people. Average annual temperature of the Earth's surface, 1950, 56 degrees. 1997, 57 degrees. Wake up, people. Concentration of atmospheric carbon dioxide, 1960, 316 ppm. 1997, 363 ppm. It's just sharing facts with you guys. Why are you getting angry? Percentages of plant species on the verge of extinction, 14%. 14, people. Percentage of fresh water and saltwater fish species on the verge of extinction, 33%. 
Wake up, people. Percentage of bird species on the verge? 11! You want to talk woke? <laughs> Percentage of mammal species? 11, dude. Wake up. Jeez. Number of species go extinct annually? A thousand species. A thousand. Now you know about stuff from the early 90s. Thank you, Kenji. Thank you, Kenji. What'd you guys think of that? Mm -hmm. Hey, you know what? All that stuff of the credits, maybe you guys might think about it tonight. Maybe I will. Maybe we'll plant a tree in our backyard. You know? Directed by Hideo Kojima. I assume those were facts. I really want to... You know what? Actually, good example. Come here, you... Alright, I have a fly in my hand. He was he was buzzing around my room. I, I don't know if I could show you guys. No, he'll get free. But I, I have him here, okay? Remember I told you guys about him earlier? Instead of killing him this time, I'm going to put him in the backyard. Because of D2. One of those flies that's just easy to catch. He was lazy. Nice. I said it in the backyard. Nah, I don't kill all insects. Only sometimes. Now he'll freeze it. Well, that's his problem. I'm not gonna go outside and build him a whole habitat end of the stream. It's it fucking survive out there. All right. This is my home. Next time you kill an insect, imagine if that was you or someone in your family. Squash. world is a mysterious place. The human mind. It's crazy. You know, it's crazy to think about that kind of thing. I get offended because you said that my shirt looks stupid, so I'm going to cancel you. Meanwhile, I squashed 50 spiders in my house and I made some beef stew casserole. But that's okay that I ate some animals that were grounded up just for me and killed some other life forms as well. As long as my shirt is okay. Thank you for playing. Thank you for making it. <laughs> Yo, Enigma. The countdown. Oh, okay. wait. Oh, it's a countdown to New Year's. Or is it a count? I forget. Is it a countdown to New Year's? Can't see the number. Oh, wait. What is it a countdown to? The, no, oh, I think it was, it, sorry, it was, I think it's a countdown to, uh, to th year 2000, I think. Um, 
Oh, wait, it just says a clock. I forget, there was something funny about this. I can't remember what it was. But I think it's because my Dreamcast clock is too far ahead. But I think it counted towards um uh the year 2000 or something. Yeah, that's it. That the game ends on this. Um but Yeah, quite the game. Quite the game, am I right? Oh, really, Punchy? I think we I think we actually did that last year. We set the clock, but I can't remember exactly. Yeah, I love this game. I know it's like, uh, it's super, um, I don't even know the word. There's a lot of words for it, but it's quite the game. There's nothing like D2 in any sense. Like D2, the reason I love it is because it is, it's original and unique in so many different ways. And it tried to do, it, it, it was like the most ambitious horror game at the time when it came out. With everything, graphics, well, voice acting, there's been, people did way better voice acting by then. Um, well, like, Metal Gear Solid and, well, not Resident Evil, but Metal Gear Solid. See, it's hard to praise an old game on voice acting because you could just counter, you can counter that point with like, oh, Metal Gear Solid did it better. But Metal Gear Solid did it better than fucking every game. So it's really hard to, to, uh, talk about that point because yeah counterpoint metal gear got him no it isn't bad in this game it's just it's just a such a fucking weird game with such weird writing and dealing with such huge issues it's just dealing with a lot of stuff at the same time and you play as basically you play as basically an angel who's also getting help from mother nature or who possibly is mother nature to save the planet from darkness itself or the shadow it's uh quite something all right guys yeah i can't i can't do anything after this because uh the big game it, it hits me every time i play it um thank you for joining in on the experience guys i really 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 do i love it that so many people come by for d2 like there was 3100 people here at one point which is fucking sick because like, say what you will about the game. I think every massive horror fan needs to know it exists, at least, because it does so many things that you've never seen in any other game before. And, and all the boss fights are so wacky. I just love, I love this game. And I'm always happy to share the love with other people. Because for some people, you'll watch, you've watched this whole game and you're thinking to yourself, this is now one of my favorite horror games. And other people are watch the game and think it to themselves. This is the dumbest fucking piece of shit game I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, so yeah, they're, they're like I just like showing everyone um, the game. <laughs>